Hey guys, welcome back to Mouse Room Gaming Studios. I'm Craig. And I'm Connor. And today we are doing a bit different here at uh, our studio. Studio. Uh, you're going to see a lot of new things. We've got new whiteboard behind us. We've got some new lighting, as you can maybe tell. You'll see new lighting in the battle report. And this is just be a standard. Well, no, it's not even going to be standard. We are also doing a new mission. So in this mission or game, we are doing the new 2,000 point Strike Force missions from Warhammer Community, along with the secondaries that were leaks on, I believe it was Goonhammer's website. Mm. So this is essentially a preview to what's coming hopefully next month in Chapter Approved 2022. New primary mission, new secondary missions, and a new studio from us here. 2,000 points of still Tyranids, and Connor's playing his Necrons again. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll show you. You'll see some new lighting. Let us know what you think. Obviously, this is still a work in progress. Oh, I yeah. did not get it all done over the weekend to upgrade to how it's going to be in full. But this is about uh, 60 to 75% of the way to the next step of our studio. Thank you to our uh, supporters, our members specifically, and all of you for watching have helped contribute in order to allow us to upgrade mm -hmm. the setup we got here. So with all that out of the way, We'll mention one more thing. We do have, we forgot to mention this in all of our past videos. We do have a giveaway going. Oh yeah. We totally forgot. Yeah. You can win a box of Termagants or a Grey Knight, uh, what's his name? Voldus? Voldus. Voldus slash Grandmaster, whatever you want to use him for, yeah. librarian. That giveaway is going on. I'll put a video hopefully above Connor's head. You can check it out. Very simple to enter. But to that is also going on. The winner is announced the 31st of December. So if you don't get entered by then, sorry, but uh, that's going on. Next time. Next time. Now, with all that out of the way, let's dive into this battle report. All right, you guys, it's time to take a look at my 2,000 points of Novak Necrons. Now, you've seen a lot of this before. I don't have the craziest amount of choices, but I'm doing all infantry besides the shard of the Void Dragon mm -hmm. uh, because I want to. We want to try some new stuff with the core changes. The core update that happened for the Necrons. So, we're going to go through the list 2,000 points. Actually, it's 1995. Maybe I could fill that five points, but. That's for a different day. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Novak, and Necrons have a few different ways to do no Force Org slot stuff. So not in any category is I have two Crypto Thralls. They're going to be with my Chronomancer. Nice. Chronomancer. He looks exactly like a Plasmancer, but just pretend he's okay, a Chronomancer. Okay, he's a Chronomancer. Yeah. Uh, then we have a Canoptech Plasma site there to buff up my uh, Scorpex. Is he his own thing? Yes, if you take a unit of Scorpex, you can take him without taking up a Force Org. Oh, I thought he came with the unit. No, you have to buy it. Oh. It's 15 points. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and that's it for the no Force Org slot stuff. Next up, we have my HQs. We have my Mandatory Warlord, the Necron Overlord. I have given him the Novak Relic, which is called the Blood Scythe. Gives him plus two attacks. And his Warlord trait is Eternal Madness. So re-roll to wound rolls in combat. Okay. Uh, just make him as fighty as I can. Yeah, absolutely. We have the Royal Warden right mm -hmm. over there. He is essentially, he lets you fall back and shoot for uh, infantry units. Pretty I much. give him the Veil of Darkness. Oh, he's got the Veil of Darkness, okay. So I have a bunch of characters, so why not? You gotta, yeah. We'll try to spread stuff out. And finally for characters, we have the Technomancer who's actually being used as a Technomancer for the first time on the Woo! channel. <laughs> he has the Cryptech Arcana Hypermaterial Ablatter. Such a cool, funny name. It's a weird, uh, weird he thing. gives light cover to a unit for a turn. Nice. And he is correctly modeled. He has the Canoptech Cloak. So he moves around fast and does extra repair stuff. Awesome. Super cool. Uh, next up in troops, we've got two squads of five immortals. They have Tesla carbines because they're better at long range. And then a squad of 20 Necron warriors. They have the close combat ones. I forget which one. The short is. range, the rapid fire ones. I think it's the Goss Reaper. I think the I Reaper, yeah. Right. So that's troops. Uh, super simple. And now we're going to go to elites. We've got 
Shard of the Void Dragon. Now Craig is playing Tyranids. So the Void Dragon usually isn't the best choice. You probably want the Nightbringer instead. Yep. But I have the Void Dragon model. So we, we don't have either. a Nightbringer. Reinforcements are coming for the Necrons. Eventually, yeah. Uh, but not him yet. Not quite yet. <laughs> Next up, we've got five Lich Guard with shields and blades. They're going to be with the Overlord, of course. Doing bodyguard stuff for him. Mm -hmm. And finally, in Elites, we have a squad of six Scorpac Destroyers. And Craig does have blast guns, actually a fair amount of them. Five of them on one model. I figured I figured he would, but I just wanted to take a full squad of them. Now, to be fair, they're, cool. they're better off shooting at the warriors than That's they are at the score packs. Yeah, but I was thinking, you know, if you take an extra one, you're maybe in certain situations offsetting the fact that you're getting more shots with your... Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Next up, we've got fast attack. Three things. First off, we have three wraiths. Uh, I will take a squad squads of five in the future. Wraiths are also incoming. Mm -hmm. Then we have two squads of scarab swarms. Uh, one squad of four, one squad of five. You know what they are. You know what they do. They do scarab things. Finally, in the back, we have three locust heavy destroyers. And I will not forget that they have four wounds this time. <laughs> I remember that from months ago. <laughs> and they have their uh, Goss Destructors, the strength 10 D3 plus 3 damage shots. Well, you know, to be fair, there's not a lot for him for them I to know. shoot at in this list. I know. I think they're probably just going to hide and wait for Swarmy to reveal himself and try to get a try to shot just through. Nuke Swarmy in one go. Try to get, yeah, something done with Swarmy. So mm -hmm. it's uh, all infantry besides the Void Dragon. Uh, I'm gonna try some fun stuff with the characters. Otherwise, it's not super competitive, but I think it's gonna be fun. Less. Well, this list, this is a 2,000 point game. We're not necessarily playing the most competitive no. arm. Mine's not the most competitive, no, no, no. but we're just, you know. Sometimes it's fun to do that though. Absolutely. Play yeah. some models that necessarily don't get the, yeah. the time of day in tournaments, so. So that's it. Novak, 2,000 points, almost 2,000 points. And you're starting with your full 12 command points? Or did you spend um, a few? It says 11. Oh, I spent one CP to give yeah, the true. Royal Warden an extra relic. Extra relic. Which is the Veil of Darkness. Right. So okay. 11. 11. So not bad. All right. We'll dive into the Tyranids. 2,000 points coming up next. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Forces of the Hive Mind. We're going to go with this battle report again today like the last one and ditch the typical themes of, you know, using lots of Hive Guard and Forge World models and things like that. And we're going with the pretty big swarm in this game we have a hundred and forty wounds plus plus mm -hmm. uh so 140 wounds of infantry connor's obviously taking no prisoners but uh this is 1996 points one more point than me i could have added rending claws to some of the warriors but i didn't have a model with it and i didn't want to deal with it so 1,996, we are playing Leviathan because it's new, it's fun, mm -hmm. and I haven't used a ton of it yet. So we're going to go with that. <clears throat> Starting off in the HQs, we have my Warlord, who is the Tyranid Prime. He's got a pair of Bone Swords and Scything Talons, but more importantly, he has the Adaptive Neural Lobe for regening CP. He has uh, Swarm Leader rerolls for full reroll, chapter master style rerolls. Mm -hmm. We also paid a CP to give him strategic adaptation, which is after reroll off to know who goes first, I can redeploy two units, whether that's uh, putting, they have to stay in the deployment zone, obviously, but can move them closer or farther away, depending what the uh, situation is. And then I believe that is it for all of him. He's got, oh, and a synaptic link unchecked ferocity. So giving one of my many combat units auto wounding on sixes in the fight phase. Cool. That'll be great. We then go to another support character. We have the Neurothrope. We're trying out something new with him as well. We are using the Void Crown. This is the new relic that allows me to cast a single psychic power in addition to a psychic action in the same phase, as well as powers and actions cast on an eight plus, it might be a nine plus, cannot be denied. Cool. Not gonna matter against you a Not whole lot. Not this game. Not this game. No. And he also knows an extra power from the hive mind discipline. So now he doesn't have to cast smite. Mm. If he's not doing an action, he can just cast two normal powers. Cool. So great for him. He is taking, uh, what is he taking? The horror 
and our Catalyst, that's his other one. Nice. Then we have Swarmlord because you can't play a combat army without the Swarmlord. So he's in there, he is taking Onslaught and Paroxysm. Both of them will be very important this game against you because you have a lot of combat too. I do. So that'll be good. Now into the troop choices. We have two units of 16 Gene Stealers, four Acid Maws in each. Uh, you guys are seeing some of my, some lists and models I don't normally use. So they are older paint job from way before I started this new uh, red scheme. Mm -hmm. So in this list, if you guys see the four Space Hulk style Gene Stealers are my Acid Maws. And in their squad, you might be able to pick them up on camera, not from this angle, but they have four of them have greener heads. They are Acid Maws there. That is how we're denoting them. We then have two units of 10 Hormagons, just basic, bare bones, nothing to them for objective grabbing and things like that. I also then have a unit of 10 Termagants, bare bones with flesh bores. Didn't have the points to take them to Hormagons, but I figured a group of Termagants for backfield screening never hurts. It's like the old days. Back in the old days, that does with this list. We then have a Tyranid Warrior squad. We have two Lash Whip Bone Sword Scything Talons, two Death Spitter Scything Talons, and one Venom Cannon. Venom Cannon Scything Downs. They, of course, have Bioweapon Bond, so they can either give that to themselves or they will sit probably by the Prime, and the Prime will give it to another unit that mm -hmm. will more likely uh, enjoy that buff. Then we go on to the Elite section. Again, a little different. We have just a unit of three Hive Guard. If you saw the last Tyranid Deep Dive video, we discussed ways to maybe balance the Hive Guard, and I said capping them at units of three. So we're gonna see how that actually plays out this game. Just a simple unit of three for some fire support. I'd imagine still probably gonna be strong. Still gonna be strong. Yeah. I'm still gonna need them to, or rely on them to kill Big targets. the, uh, the void, void, dragon. void dragon, there he is, because I can reliably do the damage in Psychic. Yep. I can do, reliably do the damage in uh, fight phase, mm -hmm. but in shooting, it's gonna be interesting. So they might, just focus all game on shooting the Void Dragon, be the pest. We'll see what happens. Uh, we then have three Venomthropes. With a lot of infantry like this, I think Venomthropes will really help, especially if I go second. True. Providing that uh, minus one to hit to a lot of my units if I deploy properly. So I haven't used them in too long, but they might be okay. So we'll go. And then I have uh, a, another staple that I love, and that is a unit of six Zonethropes. I did pay for their Synaptic Link which allows me to pick a unit and they can cast on 3d6, take the two highest. So it might just go in the zone throps the whole time. I might put it on the neurothrope. I might put it on swarmy. We'll see what happens when it gets to it. And then we have nine raveners. They are equipped with dual scything talons. There are no rending claws in this list. Mm. Uh, the thought behind it is that a leviathan, you can spend two CP to change your high fleet. And right. I can change my high fleet to a custom high fleet and go for pack hunters and biometallic cis. So for a 2 CP punch, depending on my target, if they have five or less models, I could go into uh, AP minus two with them. Oof. Now against Necrons, that's not going to do well because a lot of your minus things... Two. Minus two. Oh, on five-man squads only. Oh. Well, I mean, I score packs if once they lose one. Yes. Right. Well, no, because I got nine. You got six. Oh, right. So it's just less than this. Oh, less. Yeah. yeah. So it could it, it could come up, and hopefully it does, but that's the play in there. Okay. And then, uh, something you're probably all wondering, what is this doing on the table? This is a Tyrannocyte. It has five barb stranglers. The idea behind this is if I'm shooting a unit of 10 or more models, or more than 10 models. Let me double check that right now so I don't. It is a unit with 10 or more models, right? Cool. So your big block warriors, yeah. or that's pretty much it, that's isn't it? it? That's yeah. it. So if I'm shooting the big block warriors, it hits on fours. If I'm shooting anything else, I can put bioweapon bond on this mm -hmm. and then let it hit on fours. It is a blast weapon, so if you have larger units, that is, you know, I can go for max shots there. Oof. They're D6 a piece. Scary. And it's only a hundred and fifteen points. I have also paid one CP to give this thing an adaptive physiology. And I am doing synaptic augmentation, which basically makes this thing a synapse creature. So he can float around and give six up feel no pains to certain units, whether that be the hive guard. 
Cool. Or it be probably just the hype guard. I don't know. And himself, more importantly, because I just wanted to try something a little more fun. Yeah. And I've never used synaptic augmentation yet. It's been actual years since you've used the pot against me. So we'll see how this goes. That is it for the Tyranids. 1,996 points, 9 command points, only 2 monsters, no Forge World. It's going to mm -hmm. be a fun list. And when we come back, you guys will see the deployment, the mission, and the new setup that we have. So stay tuned. All right, you guys. So we're doing 2,000 points of Swarm Tyranids versus... 2,000 points of non-vehicle Necrons. <laughs> uh, for the narrative, it's pretty basic, but I think this tomb world, this is a tomb world, and it is just starting to wake up. Wake up. There is not a lot of the heavy vehicles because they're still asleep, and the Tyranids are hungry for something else on the planet. Fortunately, uh, Necrons aren't their food of choice. Right, maybe there's some other weaker race that they came here for, and... They just happen to run into the Necrons. Coincidence? Yeah. Or higher planning by the old ones? Ooh. What do you think? Many years back. <laughs> we'll find out. So let's go over a little bit of setup. You can notice uh, it's a little bit brighter on the board. We have uh, upgraded that kind of lighting. We don't have quite the level of lighting we do for our intros and stuff now. We've got some nicer objectives. You might have seen those in our last battle report. Uh, for Tiernid fans, we got these tokens to keep track of our uh, all of our new command phase buffs. And if you look up over here, we have our new board. We're going to have to figure out what to do about this. There's a little bit of glare, obviously. Mm -hmm. This is, again, prototype setup. Eventually, I uh, would like to make this look a lot more permanent and just kind of fill in the blank sort of thing like our old scoreboards were. Sure. But now you guys can follow along to how we're doing this. We've got our primaries, our secondaries. And of course, we will shout out to our members, uh, our HQ members, we have your dice, and our elite members, we have your dice, so we will call upon those at some point in the battle. We will. Uh, Connor's got his protocols right there. It's okay for to have them out because I have no idea what they do. Craig so. doesn't know, so it's just for me to remember. For him to remember. Yep. And if you're looking at this saying, why is there a bonus for the primary? Again, we are playing a new mission previewed for what's coming in Chapter Proof 2022. Now the primary score 4, 8, and 12, right. and there is a bonus primary, which is worth 3 points. Right. It's, it's interesting. It, uh, what we can tell right now is it kind of balances out the, uh, the way you score the lower level. So the people who normally only score 5 points are chance to score higher. Right. Makes it so you don't run away as fast with the primary? With the points, yes. Your opponent right. can't run away as much with the primary. That's what I got from it. Seems like. So this one... Uh, we'll have the name up. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys to see. But this one, the way it works is we had four object or five objectives. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Where's five? Oh, I'm sitting on it with a narrow th or zone throat. No, venom throat. <laughs> um, this one is similar to the old priority target where you take turns moving the objectives around. Right. So we did that. They basically got shifted to. These ones are now oh, in a line, line yeah. and then these ones are... Backward. Mine's actually farther forward a little bit, and his went back. Right. Which makes sense to how we want to play our armies. It does. And then the bonus point is we each nominate a primary objective in our territory. Connor's territory is here. My territory is here. So we nominate one of the two. Obviously, we pick the ones in our deployment zone. Obviously. And if we control that point at the end of our turn, mm -hmm. we get three points. So again, this goes back to, it looks like if you score five points, now instead of five, you get eight. So it makes it so your opponent, instead of a 10 point difference, if they max it out, it's only potentially, well, it's still a 10 point difference, isn't it? It is. No, it's not because if they get 15, you can get eight. So it's a seven point because you cap at 15 for your primary. So it just minimizes the it minimizes difference. the difference. Yeah. And we'll see, maybe that'll, uh, maybe. that'll come away. Yeah. Secondary wise, as you guys can see here now, Connor is going with no prisoners. Mm -hmm. And with the new secondaries we're playing, Connor can actually max out secondary or points for this one to get a full 15. He actually could get 16, but uh, not, not going to happen because he can't. Right. Going for engage, it'll be a little tricky for him, but he has 
enough mobility to get that a couple turns. Yeah, I just had a hard time choosing secondary for this sec list. Yeah. yeah. And then to the last is the last one. And those three units are... Void Dragon. Yep. 20 man block of this. What is this? Uh, then the Scorpex. The Scorpex Destroyers. Yeah. All right. So hopefully one of them. Yeah, if one away. unit stays around, then uh, yeah. that'll be fine. That'll get you points there for me. Going for Assassinate because Connor has many, many characters. Yeah, I think I have one, two, three, four, five characters. Yeah, so it's a lot I of- I knew that was gonna be a thing, but I wanted to take a bunch of characters. Yeah, so potential max out for me there. Psychic Ritual, uh, like I said, my Neurothrope has the new relic so I can do psychic powers and psychic actions in the same turn. Mm. So that should help him out with casting that. Right. And then Stranglehold I went with, because I do have a very fast obsec heavy army, I figured it shouldn't be too difficult for me for to sit on three objectives a turn, at yeah. least for half the game. I wouldn't think so. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, otherwise, there's nothing else new. We just have the new shelves, a little extra lighting. Again, work in progress. Oh, and then I guess we should say we haven't finished. We haven't rolled off yet, and I still have some redeploys. Mm -hmm. So we're going to roll off. And then we'll redeploy, and then we'll get into the uh, whatever turn. Connor's just going for it. We got a four? Yep. A one. All right, so Connor is going first. Okay. I will do my redeploys, and then we'll come back to you in the Necrons turn one. Cool. Okay, so I think first thing we should go over before my movement is Craig's redeploy. Right. What'd you do, Craig? So I pulled right here, I pulled the Raveners back like three inches in order to make it so Connor could not drop the warriors in mm -hmm. and put them within 12 inches of the Raveners because that squad would nuke the Raveners pretty reliably. Take away, I gave them, well, we'll get to it, but I gave them my will be done and the Chronometron for safety, but two plus save, or hitting on a two plus, giving them no save, wounding on threes. I don't have a six up feel no pain. So you yeah. have a six up feel no pain, it'd probably melt most of them. And then I pulled the zone thropes over here. It basically, it made it pretty obvious that Connor was gonna kill this Gene Steeler squad or that Gene Steeler squad. And that one is much more protected. Yeah. So we pulled the zone thropes away. So we had to focus one or the other in terms of the unit. You basically forced me to veil of darkness what you wanted. Yes. Yeah. And they are still just within six inches. So I can still get six up feel no pain on them to Hopefully right. keep them around a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll have to see what strats I want to add to their shooting here. That's to be determined. Uh, so yeah, that's Craig's movement. Otherwise, I moved up this little flank here. I didn't realize that everything here has fly, so I can just go over the crates. Go over the crates. That's cool. Uh, like I said, this squad has my will be done. So hitting on a 2+. plus. I also gave them the chronometron from this guy before they jumped away. So they have a 5 up. Five uh, up invone and they get to reroll charges if that matters. If they want to. That doesn't matter for them, but it will be good later. Yep. Uh, I kind of just shimmied the Lich Guard and Overlord up. These guys came out of the building. Stuff back here kind of just rotated. I'm trying to save the score packs for when... My stuff. Yeah. For when a leaves. scary close combat unit gets there, they can be the counter punch. Absolutely. On the other thing is the Heavy Locust Destroyers... Uh, don't have a shot this turn at all. No. Well, Maybe they could kill a Gaunt. There's one guy here. Yeah. You, can, you kill you kill <laughs> Gaunt there. Gaunt with a strength <laughs> shot. Uh, but they'll be safe for later as well. So let's get to. Do you have Katan powers? Katan can... power phase. All right. Yeah. Why is it? Why don't they say it's in the psychic phase? Why don't they say it's not a psychic power? It's not a psychic power. But it can just. Just do it in the psychic phase. Yeah, I would like it. Maybe it, it can feel like I'm participating in the Maybe it confuse phase. newer players. Maybe. I don't know. We'll never know. <laughs> but let's do some Catan powers. Um, the Void Dragon. You have to be visible. So I can't see it. No, you cannot see over through. He's flying though. Doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. No, we're playing. Yeah, we're playing the, well, Connor figures that out. We're playing the crates as obscuring. Yeah. And same with all of the big rocks. Okay. Area terrain. So yeah, I can't terrain. use his uh, Voltaic Storm, his uh, special one. Yep. But I picked Sky of the Falling Stars. We'll pretend this is the reason. Um, three enemy units within 24 inches of him get hit by it, so I don't have to be visible. Oh, okay. Which means maybe do some mortal... Nope. Yep. 
Yay! How about that? And turbogons. So I get to hit two of them. Yep. So it's a pretty simple power here. We do, I roll 86, one through five. Oh, here, let's just roll it and we'll go through it. So this is for the... G-Stealers? G-Stealers. Oh! The big six. So six is a fail. Six is a fail. All right. One time. On the Termagons. Oh, yeah. Two. Two. So, so if the result is less than the number of models, except for D3 mortal wounds. All right, D3 mortal wounds. I killed two Gaunts. Well, I got six left in the pain. Ah. Do you? Yeah. Yes, you do. Two Termagons. That's okay. Go down. I guess that Whop. way I ensure I get, well, it doesn't matter. So that is the Catan phase. It's probably going to be, it'll probably be better next time. It'll get better. Visibility. So now we're going to go into shooting. All right. And I only have one unit. No, I'll do this guy. He's going to kill a that gaunt. one. <laughs> He's going to kill a Gaunt. The so gaunt. he hits on a three re-rolling ones. Nice. And a Gaunt is a two. Well, the damage is minimum three, right? It's three D three. All right, so minimum, minimum three. Minimum four, actually. No, I failed the six. Okay, he so. He killed a gaunt. So you've killed three gaunts so far. Hilarious. Uh, actually, I think it was the termagant squad that was closer. I don't think you can see the termagants. Uh, can he even hit the hormagants? Yeah, yeah, you got range on him. Okay, cool. You did, easy. Okay, so he killed one of those, one of those. Now you got Now the, the only two units I have that can shoot. All right, well, Might you want to us to gather your dice and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I have my dice here for the Warriors. I'm going to use one CP, going down to 10. 10. Disintegration capacitors, basically when I'm shooting a Gauss weapon, unmodified hit rolls of six, auto wound. Oh, very so, nice. I now, I was that well. was one CP. Yep. I have my adaptive neural lobe. Do it. On a 5 plus, I get a CP. Do it. We nice. did it. So I will start with 10 before. Yeah, CP. That's cool. And that's only once per battle round. So for turn one, cool. done. Uh, that's a fun ability. So these are the warriors with their Gauss Reapers into the Gene Stealers, hitting on twos, sixes, auto wound. Oh boy. Oh, Some I see a ones. chunk of ones. Oh, that's a lot of ones. It's a lot of, but there's a lot of sixes in there too. Yes. Wow, that's, wow, that is so many ones. Oh, oh my goodness. boy. Wow. Well, it's a good thing. Look at the twos though. If I wouldn't have done, if yeah. I wouldn't be done, that would have been worse. So these are the auto wounds. Well, I'm glad I used the strat. That's good. There's the a strat two helps more. Me with this. And another one here. Another one. And another one here. Another so these one. are auto wounds. You had as many ones and sixes as you did everything else pretty much. That's weird. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So now we see their other wounds. We need threes. Threes to wounds. Strength five. Strength five. That was good. Not nearly as bad. And it was good. So we've got two, four, six, eight, nine from there. 10, 11, 12. Oh, wait. Sorry. Just go. here. Let me roll all these. Sure. Slap them in the... These are all of them. All Whatever of them. number that is. It is a lot. We'll check afterwards. So five these up, are six up. five up in bones and six up feel no pains. That was pretty good. Uh, we made or, one, two, average. three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it was not bad. That's pretty good. And then Leviathan, can you come in clutch here? I think you're going to survive. I'll survive. Wow. But... I lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'll have five of them left. It did something. Survived that that large amount of ones probably was yeah, what did it. what did it in. But so I'll have five left. So I'll have my four acid mods and one regular boy. Yes. Goodbye, go. Jane Steelers. You have been deleted. And then we have one other thing, and that's uh, the warden. Oh, of course, he's got some shots. He has like rapid two. fire two, so he gets four shots because his range is 30. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's definitely in range definitely there. Definitely rapid firing. Okay. And he's hitting on threes. He missed. That's okay. And strength five, AP minus two, two damage. Two damage. So two more. So five ups. We don't make any, but I've got it. So if I make any sixes, I'll have to do it again. Oh. I do make one. Do 
No. So two die. You killed two more. Two and more. Hey, that's that's pretty good. That's less attacks. That is sure. just three gene stealers left. Okie doke. And actually, that might be the end. That's of my gonna turn. be it. I, yeah. I do not have to take any morale checks because of synapse being synapse. Right. What's the range on my immortals? I took the Tesla. Thirty, Oops. right? Oh, is it thirty? No, twenty-four. No, that's the Gauss. I took Tesla. No, no, not, not at all. <clears throat> so that will go. Uh, so no prisoners. We can score that up at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, but you got engage about fifteen points. Engage. Are you? You are in this quadrant. You are in that quadrant. I guess you can mark up on the board if you want. Just put two ticks down there for engage. You guys can live track. Ooh. There we go. Two points for engage. Cool. And we'll do no prisoners later. Yeah. We'll Primary objectives, nothing yet. No member dice being used yet. Don't worry, they'll come. They will. And all right, so that is Necron's turn one. It's been, that was, I mean, pretty good turn. I shot some gene stealers. Shot some gene stealers. All right, we're go. going to Tyranid's turn one, coming up next. All right, so we got Tyranid's turn one. Time to deliver the counter punch. Pretty much we'll go over the command phase as I have the tokens so you can kind of see what happened here. Uh, swarm leader rerolls and unchecked ferocity went onto that unit. I was able to do a synaptic web with the link to pass the bioweapon bond all the way from the warriors to those three gene stealers. So now they can hit on twos. Hmm. And then I just put psychic channeling onto the zone thropes. They're going to be doing most of the psychic punch. I was a little bit of a misplay. I would have liked for them to be within range of Swarm because his power is going to be a little more important than their psychic right now. But that's what it is. Uh, everything else just kind of advanced forward. We're kind of doing that great rotation or the toilet bowl as Connor has uh, <laughs> called it where my army is turning around this way and Connor's is swinging around that way. See how it goes with that. And then the main other thing the pot is getting ready, moving out, lining up fire onto that unit of warriors. Probably the juiciest target he's ever going to see. So mm -hmm. try and show that the pod still has a purpose in this game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, other than that, we just go straight in the psychic phase. I got a lot of powers to do, and a lot of them are important. And I have no denies. No denies. So let's start with the most important one, and that is the Neurothrope. We're going to start with a mental interrogation. Warp charge four onto the... Uh, a uh, Royal Warden, and that'll just Ooh. get me three command or three victory points if I get this. Nice. Goes off on a four. Wow. I can reroll the one if it mattered, but okay. Well. Wow. Okay, so that goes off. So that's three mm -hmm. points. Then we're gonna go for a second power because I took the Void Crown. I can do a regular psychic, or I can do a a uh, Tyranid psychic power and an action. Okay. So we'll do Catalyst onto the Raveners because that's going to be important, and it does go off on an 8, so they will have uh, Feel No Pain. Ooh, I should have made that a token. Next time. Next time. Five of Feel No Pain. That's okay. These, bio weapon, these ones are the more important ones. So that's his powers done. We'll go then into the uh, Swarm Lord, and he's going to go for Onslaught onto the Raveners to allow him advance and charge. Does go off on a 7, so nice. they can advance and charge. And finally, we have two powers from the Zone Thropes, we'll do Smite, so three dice, take the two highest. Oh, okay, so that goes off for uh, D3 plus three Mortal Wounds. That is six Mortal Wounds. On the Warriors? On the Warriors. Oh, wow, they're already gone. And then I have um, uh, Psychic Scream. Oops, I get an extra die in there. Okay, well. Would have been Super Smite. Would have been a Super Smite. And then D3 more Mortal Wounds for one. So Seven die. Seven of them have been... That's uh, a lot. Splatted. Yeah. So that is it for the second phase. Very good. Everything went perfect. Uh, I will gather up my dice for the shooting phase and then we'll be right back. Cool. This is the pod. The pod is... Into the remaining warriors. There's 13 of them, so I just get a max 30 shots with That's the pod here. Yeah. These are strength 5, AP minus 1, 1 damage. And I get to hit on fours because you have more than ten in the or ten or more in the unit. Mm. So looking for some sweet fours. Oh boy, that did not look good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Both had some doozy. That was uh, that was yeah, that was not great. 
Uh, but I'm wounding on threes now, mm -hmm. so hopefully most of these go through. Yes. Well, average. Three, six, seven of them. Seven go through. At minus Juan. Okay, here's seven dice. Boom, 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 fives. I uh, two. save two, and then should I just reanimate? Uh, that is the end of his shooting, yep, so you can reanimate. I will reanimate them on fives. Reroll on the ones. Thank you. So, hey, two die. Three, so three stand back up, so technically you can redeploy those three. Right, so let's see. Oh, five die. So we'll take five away. Three, four, five. So these guys die, but three of them get back up. Yep. So doesn't really matter where I read it. No, these guys have. Situation. They're they're so fast that they will still be able to touch you. Yeah, we'll just go like that. All right. Yeah. So I only killed two with the pod. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was expecting a lot more than that. Yeah. All right, pod. Well, you it's tried okay. to show him. He did. Uh, okay, so we have some more shooting. Uh, I'm gonna go with the hive guard now. Mm -hmm. uh, just a simple six shots into the void dragon because I gotta whittle him down. Yep. Uh, okay, so that is wow, weird. No rerolls or anything. <laughs> just a simple three so man support. You oh, one, one wound onto him. One wound, and he has a four up. Okay, well, nope. damage. Just one. I should have called on a, a member damage. die there. Next time. Next time. Next time. So gonna, I'll mark it up later here, but I'll just do, he's down one wound. Thank you. Uh, although we count differently. That's okay. I'll, how about another white one? We'll get one. Yeah. Uh, so then, I have just <laughs> a little more shooting. Uh, Neither of us have much shooting. I have a venom cannon ooh. that can... Ooh. Uh, yep, that can get you. Nice. So it's D3 shots with a Venom Cannon. Okay. Three shots. Nice. All right, we're hitting on uh, twos. No, threes. Yeah. <laughs> triple. Triple one? Triple one. Oh, my. So nothing there. Okay. Uh, shooting phase is going splendid. <laughs> Quite the opposite. But we do have the combat phase. Or a fight a phase. phase here, yeah. So these guys get to move 12. I actually can technically advance with them. This is using Hive Commander on the Swarm Lord. Mm -hmm. My advance roll is a 2, so they can get an extra 2 inches if I so choose. Don't really need it, but why not? Basically, just follow them. Although, you were smart to uh, not take away those two, because otherwise I could have wrapped around into the... Mm -hmm. Into the... Uh, scary Not scary character. It's not, not that scary. scary character. It's not that scary. No, he doesn't. He just hits you with his elbow in close combat. He doesn't have any weapons. Bam. All right, so they're in. Oh, great. Um, tokens with. And I think we're just going to go into the charge phase next. So I will uh, plan out what I've got, and we'll be right back. Cool. All right, charge phase. We just have the two obvious charges. The gene stealers are going to go in, and then the raveners are going to go in. Uh, Gene Steelers will go first. Do you want to Overwatch? Uh, I don't think it really helps me that. Well, it's only one CP. Yep. Oh wait, do, do I get my plus one to hit on Overwatch? No, 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 no. No. Overwatch is always sixes. Uh, unless otherwise stated. Yep. Um, let's see. Kill three Gene Steelers. You know it's one CP, right? Yeah. I'll do it. All right. Hand this over. I'll take the camera. I need to cut it though, because I still have to count. All right, we'll be back. I never overwatch, but I mean, it's three gene stealers. Probably nope. nice to finish yeah. them. Uh, you never know. So this is, oh, down to nine. Down to nine, command points for Connor. Um, Looking for sweet sixes. I got four. I got four. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, wounded with all of them, here we go. You do wound three I of them. I wounded with enough. That's three. Okay, if Craig fails every single one. Five ups. Ah. And six ups. No, Dang. so there's one left. They almost did it. One gene stealer hangs won't make, around. Won't make too much of a difference, but figured I should. There you go. There we go. 
And now for the charging, the gene sealer will go in a whopping eight inches, no problem. And the raveners will go 10 inches. Okay. We'll pile them in and we'll come back to the raveners doing their damage. Cool. So I've got 45 attacks here. I've spent one command point for unchecked ferocity. What did you want, mean to do? I meant to use two command points to switch their high fleet to make them so they had biometallic cysts and then I could do one other one, which was I was probably gonna use four plus ignoring mortal or overwatch wounds, mm. uh, but didn't do that. The reason it would have been good is I do still have a four up armor save. Yeah, uh, down so to my five up end bone from Kronometer. The plan was so I had AP and I could chunk through the four to a five up, but we did do the unchecked ferocity and I have swarm leader rerolls and unchecked ferocity. So there's a lot of things happen here. I think I did the average is close to killing 12 of them. And there's 13. And there's 13. So we we'll need a out. little bit of luck on our side. Right. Hitting on threes. Oh, there's a lot of sixes in here. This might take a while, so we might just cut and uh, come okay. back to the final wounds. Cool. The Raveners have hit hard. We've gone through with 29 wounds. I had a lot of sixes in the beginning, which helped us out. So the odds are they die. Odds are they die. But if they survive this, then they get to reanimate. Get to reanimate. And then the Gene Stealer has to do it all. Oh boy. I. Oh boy, I think you did it. I don't know. So this is how many died. We'll Two, count the failures. Four, six. This is very suspenseful. Eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. On the money. Oh, can I spend a CP? Yes. You should like to use one of our. Because uh... I get to reanimate after you hit me. Yeah. So is right? it, if you roll a four up. On this die, that warrior squad is still hanging in there. You really, that was on the dot? It was on the dot. Should I use a membership dice? Oh, I think this is a, who are you gonna call on? Wasn't it, what, what did Magical Zonky do? Was he our first something? He was one of the first ones. He was ones. one of the first. All right, cause I like your name, I will use this. Even if I fail, I'll still like you and like your name. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna burn a CP down to eight. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting Magic us. Zonky. No matter what happens here. Uh, a four up the squad survives. And survives ends. with one of them. No. no. So that's the squad. That's the squad gone. You can leave just. Can just put leave. it back? No, just so we know we used it. We'll okay. set it there. Still thank you, Magical Zonky. Wow. There you go. That's rough. That was huge. Very rough. That was a huge... Roll there. Yeah, All right. There so that's that. We will uh, pile in and then be right back. Actually, we'll pile in. I will pile in and try to tag the the boy in there. Let's check. Okay. Am I within? Oop, sorry about the camera work there. Uses a handy dandy widget. Three inches. That will easily put me within half an inch. So I will take, oops, sorry. I will tag him in because that is three inches or within an inch. Yeah, so we got him, even though I just bumped him. We're going to pile in with the war or the Raveners, contest him, and we will be back in the Necrons turn two. Cool. All right, so we stepped back with the Warden. Well, hold on. Before we go into there, oh. let's clarify what happened. Oh. Uh, going into the turn, you gained seven points for primary because you have one objective and your primary one. And at the end of my turn, I got three for strangle, three for psychic ritual. Now into your command phase, uh, not too much happened. Just chronometer on here. Um, That's pretty much it. My will be done on the lich guard, and that is it. Now into the movement phase. Movement phase, Warden stepped back. Everything moved forward here. These guys are going to try to tag up the zone throps. Yeah, it'd be a nuisance there. Just, yeah, just absorb That's their good. psychic might, you know? Absolutely. Because I think these things actually, they have a lot of wounds. Got so a lot they, of wounds. They could suck it up the, the strength of it. They got a lot of attacks too. So. Yeah, maybe they'll kill one. Um, there, there. These are my destroyers. They're probably gonna shoot the Raveners instead of the pod, but I haven't decided yet. 
Uh, Scorpex, like I said, they got the Chronometron. I did not inject them. Infused Madness is what it's called. Just because they only have one target and it's Gaunt. Mm -hmm. So why would I risk losing a model over that? Yeah. You got the uh, Chronomancer and the Technomancer behind these very expensive units that they can buff up. Sure. These guys are sitting on the objective. Lich Guard are probably going to go for a charge there. We got the Lord and more Immortals right there. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Catan phase. All right, which one's happening first? Well, first we're going to do the roll a d6. So I've got him, him, and them. Yeah. Yeah. So I just roll a dice, a die. The die. The die. So I roll one. You're Each for, of the units, roll a d6. So let's start with the... You have to roll less than the number of models in the unit, right? That's this one. Sky Falling Stars. Yeah. So okay. can I not kill the stealer? Is it less equal to and less? If the, if the dice result is less than the number of models in that unit. So you can't. So you have to go for someone else. You oh, go for is there the, anything else in 24? The Gaunts probably? You got the Termagants and you got them and you probably have the hive guard too. Uh okay. Let's just check it out. So what if we do the Raveners and them? 24. Yeah, you got the Hive Guard. I guess it's worth going. Hive Guard have three wounds each. Three wounds piece. He could kill one. He could kill one. Let's do it. Alright, so who's hive first? Hive guard first. Hive guard first. Because I want to do that. No. Yeah. Oh, less than. Because it has to be less than. And the Ravener is almost, I said almost guaranteed. Oh. And always. the Zonthropes. Okay. So that's D3 mortal wounds? D3 mortal wounds. Two. Six is to ignore him. I do not. So that is Two Zoe wounds. down to one wound. Cool. It's something. And then he will do his Voltaic Storm. We got select one in the unit with an 18. Oh, yeah. So basically on a, let's see, on a two plus, you suffer D3 mortal wounds. All right, who are you gonna choose? Uh, the Zoe's because- You could kill one. I could kill one. Yep. Here we go. He hits it. He hits it. That's a D3 mortal wounds. For three. Three, oh boy. Kill one. I do not save any of them. So that'll oh kill one and bring one down to a wound. That's amazing. Not bad. Uh, just getting rid of one zone throw up is a huge accomplishment for me, so I am happy with That's that. That's very good. All right, cool. That's the, we'll call it the Catan phase. The Catan phase. Now on to the shooting phase. Shooting. Maybe give me one sec. I just want All to right. check. We'll be right back. So these immortals are going to start my shooting phase. They have Tesla carbines, so two shots each only. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to shoot the Ormagants in the middle. You got line of sight to them. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We're gonna nice. shoot them here. So it's Tesla. So sixes give me. Oh, <laughs> well, these have Tesla. Oh. Yep, but I didn't get any. Okay. So they're wounding on threes. AP zero. Wow, there's something. So five wounds. Five wounds. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, six ups then. Nothing. Okay. So that will kill five of them. Wow. We're in synapse range, so we're still okay, but... Nice shots. Nice. And now, we don't have too much shooting, but we're going to go with these guys. The big boys? The big boys, and as Craig suggested, I think I agree, they should probably hit the... <sighs> do they go into the pod? Well, it could do damage to me. You shoot the pod. Yeah. You will kill the pod. pod. I don't know about that. Most likely, but it's twelve wounds, and you do minimum three damage a shot. Yeah, but that's if I hit all three. Or well, no, minimum three damage a shot. Two of them, two of them could kill the pod. That's true. Now, what's I the get, damage? I get points for killing the raveners, though. You do. What does he have for shooting? What's his damage on it? Uh, D six. Okay, because there is one ravener on two wounds here. Let me just make sure it's D6. His shot, yeah, his shot is D6 damage unless it's against vehicles. Okay. Or no, it's always D6 damage. So what I'm thinking is if you shoot the Ravners, you want to start with the Void Dragon first. Definitely, to finish that one. Yeah. I guess you're right. So I'll start with the Void Dragon just to see what happens. Mm -hmm. So he'll shoot the Ravener. Hits on a two. Hits. Nice. And he wounds on a... 
Two. Wounds. Yep. It is AP minus four. No save there. No save there. Damage. Damage. Three. Three. All right, three five ups. Okay. Because I've catalyst. Oh, just enough to kill him. So he does kill one. You do kill him. Okay. Goodbye. And now, what I need to ask myself is, do I think that these wraiths and the void dragon can kill them in melee? Oh, but... Because I have five of feel no pain, I don't think it's going to be likely that they can kill him in melee by themselves. Ah, <sighs> I think you're right. Okay. I'm going with the heavy locust destroyers into the raveners. All right. Now, they don't have any hitting buffs, but they do get to reroll ones. Whoops. So threes and ones. Threes. Yes. Nice. All three. Now, we're wounding on twos. All wound. All right, damage on one at a time for the damage. Right, and let's just go. Actually, it's minimum this. three, right? Min three. All right, so let me just roll three sixes, or three five. Nah, yeah, three, three five. Right nah, let's do it the right way. Let's do it the right way. If because... there were sixes, I would do it this way, but they're five, so. So it's damage 3d3 per shot. Yep. Here's the first d3. No, 3d3. Oh, right. Sorry. So rolled, yep. This is the first shot. So four damage. So four five ups. Oh, he survives. He survives. Nice. So the next one, let me just roll. Yeah, okay, so the next shot is just wasted to kill him. And the last one, there we go, six. That's more more like it for you. He, uh, he's dead, but barely. So only killed two? He only killed two. All right. See, they can, they can falter if you don't get those damage rolls well. Well, with five up, feel no pain. That, uh, yeah. That'll do it. But so goodbye. I killed two more. Two more. I guess that's good. That's good. Um, then the Eon Stave. From this guy, is it 18 inch range? Oh, yeah, he doesn't have Might range. Might as well. Does he have range? This guy? Yeah. Oh yeah, I spent 10 points on it. Well, I meant does it have range? Oh, it's 18 inches. I don't care how many points you spent on oh, it. Oh yeah. Can yeah. it hit me? Oh, it's not even close, is it? I don't think so. Oh, nope, he's like an inch short. He's an inch short. Okay, so he doesn't have range there. Um, what about the guys in the back? What's their range? 24. They don't have 30 inch like oh. their goss weapons. So, the warlord there has the upgraded war scythe. That's all my shooting. It's all the shooting. Now for the fun part. So I am in the void, protocol of the hungry void. So I get plus one AP when I charge and Let's see. I had one with a strength. Uh, I had one of my strength when I'm charging. And that's the protocol. Then I'm Novak, so I get plus one to charges, plus one AP when I charge or get charged. Okay. So let's start with the boring one first because we know he's going to make it. Yep. The Void Dragon into the Raveners. Nine. So you could hop on the other side of the Raveners if you really wanted to. Um, no, you can stay I, there. I don't want to. Okay. I just want to go like that. Let's do these scarabs into your Zoe's. Ooh. So I get plus one. Eight. Pretty Did sure you measure it? I think you got it. I think that you needed like a six. a lot less than eight. Yeah. I needed a six and I got it. Oh so, boy. Actually, they're going to, it doesn't really matter. They'll just go like this. Just tie them up. Bing bong. There we go. Oh, they have fly. They do have fly, so they can just hop right over just there. Right over there. Nice. Um, and then... The rates. The rays are guaranteed, basically. You don't even have to roll it as long as you just want to pile yeah. them in. I just roll Nine it. inch charge. Bloop. 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 All right. The lich guard over here. Ooh. Am I on that? You oh, that's need... a really fire charge. It's a 10 inch charge. Ah, 10 inch charge plus one. Plus so one, nine. so a nine, which is what you just rolled. Actually, I rolled multiple nines. You have. Ah, uh, to kill a bunch of, yeah, we should try it. So, do you want to declare the multi-assault just so you hit them both? But. Or no, I guess. Because otherwise you can't swing on the Hormagons. 
and then you're just going here. And I mean, yeah, there's no you reason could, not to multi assault, is there? Do I mean, I lose anything? you pull my guns in to fighting, which are you know, there's something. That's all I gain though. Yeah. I and, don't really want. Oh well, they can. They can't pile in though if I don't. Ah, whatever. I'll multi multi assault sure? the two squads. All right. right. Multi assaults. I got it because I get plus one. Oh no no no! It was a. You needed a nine. Oh no! All you right? needed a ten. You needed oh. a ten, which was a nine and dice. So I don't get to no. charge either squad. Because you have to make it to both. Yeah. See, a ten will put you within an inch. So you oh. needed a. You could spend a command point to reroll that. Mm. What's your other charge here? Oh, it doesn't really matter, but... Well, actually it does matter a lot if you get me off that objective. Oh yeah, that's like boxcars. Whoa. Um, I then, see actually. a 10 will put you within an inch. Well, they already get to reroll their charge, so I might as well spend a CP. Okay. On the Lich Guard. Now, before you do anything, five up, I get a CP. <laughs> I do, look at that. Every time. Worked better than last game, I only got it once. Cool. And let's guard into those squads. They fail again, oh, nice. of course. And now we'll do the uh, destroyers. Destroyers need a 10. Into there. Oh, so they fail. They get, they get a reroll built the in. I really used all my good charges early. Oh, uh, early. Well, super unfortunate. You've got, I mean, that's good. You tied up that corner of the board. That's where a lot of threat was right now. So that is true. So I'm going to, I know what I'm going to do. Gather so, your dice. Let's or start just... it. Well, actually, yeah, let me gather dice. All right, I'll be right back. All right. So for my charges, uh, we'll start with the raids. Yep. I think that's the smart decision. And they're hitting on fours, four attacks each. Pretty good. Nice. Behind nice. It. And wounding on threes, AP minus two. Oh, so no saves, except for my invul or my film of pain. Three, and they're two damage a piece, I think. Three, two damage a piece, so I gotta do these. I can do the first two at a time. Uh, five ups to ignore, so that'll kill one. And then the last one to do two damage. Yep, so that'll kill one wraith and one on a wound. Okay. A the... wraith. Uh, warrior. Ah, I or Ravener. I can do it. Whichever one Lots it is. Lots of three wound models that are snake like. True. Now we have the Void Dragon. So you have multiple attacks, types of attacks. He does have a tail. It just says each time he fights with it, you get D6 attacks with it. Do the tail first, because I got a wound. So, but do I have to get rid of one of my attacks and put it towards that, or how does that work? It's a, it says each time... Each time the bear fights, it makes an additional... Oh, additional. D6 attacks with this weapon. Oh, okay. You're right. So I'll do the tail first. He gets how many attacks with it? Two. Only. Two. So he's hitting on twos. Hit with both. The tail is strength six, AP minus two. So one damage. All right, so those both go through. Nice. Good uh, five ups to ignore. Nope. Nope, that's fine. That drops the one. Oh, good. So now it's just on to the. Uh, now he gets his regular attack. Yep. Twos. Nice. Woo! Strength nine, AP minus four, damage D6. Twos again. Okay. Uh, you can roll all these damage. No, you cannot roll them all at once. Uh, do them one at a time. Okay, so one of those guys is dead, which means I have four left. Yeah, the first one. All right, so six. Let me see if I somehow uh, miraculously that save him. Wow. Uh, wow, I I did. Wow. I did. Okay, so do the damage on the next one. One. Okay, well. All right, so that two attacks kill one. Those even out. Okay. Yep. Four, can I save him? Nope, so that's another one dead. So that's three dead, and one. Oh, he's alive. And yes, he is alive on two wounds. So I killed three total. With, well, uh, with him, you killed three total. No, tail yeah. plus three with the staff. Yeah. Yeah, so there's one left on two wounds. Okay. And that is, that is all that death and uh, carnage. I will try and swing back to do as, you know, what damage I can to him. A little chunk. I do get five attacks. And I still have all my upgrades. Right. So looking for some sixes there. There's one six. Nice. Uh, well, I only rolled a bunch of twos and ones. Uh, full rerolls. Thank you. And 
Ryan still rolled some twos and ones. Uh, toughness six on him. Seven. Seven. So still five. Oh. Okay. So he did one wound. Okay. One out of wound. No AP. Uh, three up. Ha. Bang. He does have three up, right? Yep. Three up armor, Sid. Well, that'll be it for Necrons? Uh, scarabs. Oh, okay, yeah, go for that. Scarabs. We'll, we'll gather your dice and then we'll be yeah. right back. So I piled in my scarabs over there. I am going to use a CP down to seven. Okay. Boop. And it allows you to essentially auto explode one of the bases. Oh, just one of the bases, okay. Yep. And I roll a D6. Two, that's good. Because I get D3 mortal wounds now on you. Oh, okay. So D3. D3. Just, Just one. one? Well, I mean, that's Just one. still damage. Six up to ignore it. Oh, uh, I do. So it's a complete waste of a scarab and a CP. Yep. All right. So you have, you take attacks out of him mm -hmm. then. Yep. There we go. Uh, so terrible. Maybe I didn't use it right or at the right time. Well, well, mortal wounds are mortal wounds. Yep. We'll and see. So we get fours. Boop. Not bad. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Not are they bad. strength three? They are strength three. Oh. Six is on. If I hit, roll out of wounds. Cool. Ooh. Ooh, and I'm Novak, so I have. AP doesn't matter. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. That is true. Uh, three wounds. Three wounds. And we save, oh, the ones. That will kill that one. Oh, six up to ignore. That will kill that one zone throw. Hey. So I'm down to four zone throws there. Nice job, Scarabs. So that'll be the end of Necrons. Uh, actually, yeah, technically we did that combat out of order, but that's okay. That's fine. That's pretty good. That you got right. me off that objective, so now you claim that one. Yep. Uh, I still do have three objectives, so I will still be able to get um, oh, max yeah. primary and max for stranglehold. Ooh, that's a huge hole to dig out of. But... Really rough. But you've got a lot of your, your hitting power. You only really have lost a block of warriors. Yeah. That's it. And I've lost two of my three combat, serious combat threats. We'll see after you go for your second turn, though. So well, still got gene stealers there. I still got them, and they need to delete. Uh, yeah, so we'll see when we come back into we'll Tyranid's turn two. Cool. Welcome back to Tyranid's turn two. This is Editor Craig here. Uh, we had a little bit of mishap with the mics, so Tiernan's turn two, for the most part, was not recorded. However, I am here to provide you some commentary about what is happening, and then normal sound will kick back in. So we're going over the command phase and the movement phase. Uh, a lot of things just moved up in terms of command phase, uh, specifically the Gene Stealers. They have unchecked ferocity on them and Swarm Leader rerolls. The goal is to do some combat down there. I did slap bioweapon bond onto the pod just to see maybe I could do some extra damage and uh, synaptic channeling was on the zone throw so I figured I wanted to make sure I did as much damage to those scarabs as possible and swarmy's powers were so-so. The gene stealer here and the ravener are engaging in combat trying to take on their respective characters. Maybe that gene stealer can kill the warden. It was a long shot but really there's not much else for him to do so try and plink off some wounds there. Okay, now we're going to move into the psychic phase, and I'm going to use the uh, in mental interrogation, or sorry, I'm using smite first onto the gene stealer, try to get some good 5 up feel no pain. It doesn't go off, however, for some reason, I forget that I can reroll ones in the psychic phase with the neurothrope. So what I'm going to end up doing here is spend a command point to reroll that, and I do reroll it, and I get... You know, I get an 11. That is plenty to go off. Wish it was a smite, but I do spend the command point. They now have five but feel no pain on the gene sealers, which is good because they are getting ready to get stuck into combat. Now I have mental interrogation thanks to my relic, and that's going to go on to one of the characters. Doesn't really matter which one. I do get it off on a five as I only need warp charge four. 
So that is a simple three more victory points for me there. Next, we're going to look at the zone tropes, and they're going to do their smites and psychic screams into the scarabs. We'll start off first with a smite. That is a total of 9, not a super smite unfortunately, but it does do D 2d3 mortal wounds because of the unit size. That is 4 mortal wounds, that will finish off one base and kill or wound another one. We also then have Psychic Scream to go on. That goes off on a 7, again another d3 mortal wounds for just one, so a total of 5 mortal wounds dealt to the scarabs. Okay, we're back into the shooting phase for the Tyranids. We're going to start by using the Bioweapon Bonded Pod to go against the Scorpec Destroyers. Connor is going to spend 1 CP for Whirling Onslaught. This will make them minus 1 to wound, making my guns wounding from 4s to 5s. Now he does have 6 models in the unit, so I, are, I am doing D6 shots, minimum 3 on all of these attacks. So let's see, uh, there's a solid hit of 21 shots coming in. So I'm going to gather up my dice. We have 21 hits here. We're looking for fours thanks to Bioweapon Bond. And the roll, the roll was okay. You know, you can't really complain with this giant pod shooting. Hitting on fours looks like it is just under average there. So I guess there is some uh, room to complain, but now looking for fives and sixes, we do get three, which for that roll is about average. Only at uh, no AP or AP minus one, Connor makes his saves, and that is that good talk pod not doing me so well in today's game. Okay, next in the shooting phase, we have the hive guard. This is pretty much all that's left. And I do go back and forth debating here what is the best target for these Hive Guard to shoot. My first thought were the Wraiths. Uh, I was worried about a counter charge from them. They have some mobility and they could potentially get to my Hive Guard or they could do some decent damage to the Zone Thropes. The other one I was worried about were the Scorpec Destroyers as they do a lot of damage to things like my Pod and Swarmlord himself. So I do choose the Locust Destroyers and I will have my six shots here. Solid uh, six hits, and now we're looking for the wounds. It is not so good, but three wounds go through. So Connor rolls his saves, he fails them all. Now I'm going to roll the damage here. I'm going to roll the first two because I could kill one of them, and I don't. I roll a one and a two, so only two damage. I would really like to kill one of those destroyers, otherwise he's just going to heal him up to uh, full health. So what I do here is I call upon a channel member and his name is David Adams. Thank you David Adams for supporting the channel. I am calling upon you to slay this Locust Heavy Destroyer for me. I need a 3 plus on this dice. Again, thank you David Adams for getting me the 3 plus and eliminating the first Locust Heavy Destroyer. Now we go into the end of the shooting phase and what we are going to do is single minded annihilation and we're going to do that whole thing once again see if we can't replicate that or maybe get some better luck and just about kill them. I can't kill them outright. Fortunately I do have not have enough. Well if I roll perfect I could kill them outright so it would be nice. Let's see what happens here. I have my six shots going in. A more average roll. Uh, getting five of them and now we're gonna go into the wound roll not very good there Connor does have his five up saves he does fail both of those so he failed all five of those five up saves there looking for damage I'd like to see four up on the total here the first one is a three so something you missed is that the Tyranid Warriors did do a pot shot from with the heavy venom cannon onto Locust Heavy Destroyers. 
and that did two wounds. So by rolling a three plus there, we were able to kill one and then damage the other Logos Heavy Destroyer. Okay guys, we have the charge phase. I'm gonna be doing a multi-assault with the Gene Stealers. I wanna go into the Immortals and the Lich card. I'm not gonna charge the Lord because I am afraid that extra distance may cause me to fail and I think Connor will just heroically intervene anyway. So the charge roll is a six. That is plenty for what I needed. I believe the charge was only a four inch charge of what I needed. We also have that one lone gene stealer he's gonna try and go in. He does get it with a 10, and that is way more than he needs. We didn't even really have to roll it, but we just wanted to do it because, you know, why not? So we have piled in all the gene stealers. I am divvying up my attacks in such a way Connor did heroically intervene. So we have three gene stealers onto the five immortals, we have four gene stealers onto the Lord, and the remaining nine gene stealers are going to be going onto the Lich Guard. In a perfect world, I kill them all, but uh, this is not a perfect world. This is a dice game of Warhammer 40k. So I am spending CP here. This is what I'm talking about. Two CP for Relentless Flurry. So my sixes will explode to two hits. Remember, I have unchecked Ferocity and Swarm Leader rerolls. So this is the first volley into the Immortals. I'm gonna be pulling out the misses and I'll be pulling out the sixes. Move those across, get a nice swarm leader rerolls in there. And we will go with the wounds. I will grab two of Connor's dice to resemble the extra attacks. And we are wounding on fives, so not a great roll, but uh, it does add up to be a fairly okay roll. So we have Connor saves. He does fail the first six up save from the Acid Maw and he fails two four up saves from the regular Talons. And because we had three rending attacks go through, that would be enough to, or two rending attacks, sorry, that is enough to kill the Immortals. Connor elects to save his command point reroll so far, so I will continue to roll the hit rolls onto the Lord. Again, whites are Acid Maws, and blues are Rending Claws. So six, or four Acid Maws, extra Acid Maws attack, and we have four extra Rending Talon attacks. Now I haven't accounted for the Swarm Leader reroll, so we'll do that now, and that nets me an extra two Rending Claws attack, which I will just take from those misses and pop them into my hand to roll to wound. Pull that one that was not a hit in there. And now, look at that. Those are the wounds. Again, we are looking for fives and sixes because the Lord is a beefy boy. We got one rending in there, which will be taken on an invone along with the Acid Maw saves and then a couple other. So these are the first invone saves from the Acid Maws. A very good roll for him. He only failed one. And now we are going to go through with the regular wounds and see what kind of saves he can make there. And unfortunately, he rolls poorly and gets a big whiff of three wounds there. He is down to one wound now after failing those. And he fails it. This was the last rending a claw attack that did rend. We could have rolled it separately. But... Connor is not done. He is spending a CP and he is calling upon Wild Elf to give him a command point reroll. Thank you, Wild Elf, for supporting the channel and may your dice help Connor. And it does. Again, Wild Elf, thank you for supporting. It does mean a lot. That will leave the Necron Lord on one wound remaining. We now have all the remaining nine Gene Stealers going through. It's a lot of hits, a lot of sixes in there, so we are going to divvy them up. And as we divvy them up, we have sorted out the sixes. You can see them on the side, and we have all of these wound rolls. Uh, we didn't count them. It's a lot, but I'm looking for fives and sixes to wound because Lich Guard are, again, toughness five, like many of the Necrons. So there's a lot there, and we'll add them up and get into the armor saves. We're back. So <laughs> we, had, uh, we had some pizza break. And we somehow forgot to check every single mic. All three mics were off. So you missed, you, to be fair, they didn't miss too much. We didn't miss that much. And I will do the narration over so you can see this. 
Should we do an overview right now? We will do a quick overview. Yeah. Um, the only thing that really happened was my hive guard. Yeah. Killed the locust destroyers. I yeah. Use psychic on a few zone throw or on a few scarabs. scarabs. He got a psychic uh, mental interrogation off. Yeah. And the gene stealers charged in with unchecked ferocity, swarm leader reels, and relentless flurry. They've already killed immortals, and we're just about to roll the war. Yeah. He's on one wound. You guys saw the roll for how much, and this is how much damage we did. So these are the two wound rolls. These are the the wounding rolls. You have nine at AP minus one. Yep. And you have uh, twelve at your invuln save. The yep. white ones are the acid maws, and the others are not. So they're all the same to me, though, right? Those ones, yes. All right. So we're gonna see how this goes, and then my other saves are gonna be on three plus. So fours. That's okay. Not that's bad. That's very good. Ooh, that's actually really good. So that's two dead. Two dead so far. Two dead from the AP. High AP ones. The high okay. AP ones. Oh no. And now these are three pluses? Yep. So there's two guys left. Six wounds. Three pluses. Oh. They... Oh, wow. It evened out. No. Okay. Three pluses. Those oh, three threes pluses. are good. Yes. So one's alive on a wound. Or no, one's just alive on full. One's alive. And oh, I will get man. to reanimate now. Yes, you do right. reanimate right now. So there's one guy alive. So you just roll eight dice? I roll eight dice. And let's see if I get another <clears> one back. <throat> that would be really nice. I don't. Oh, man. Very bad. Oof. Okay. Very bad. So now, all that's happened. Do you want to spend any command points to interrupt? It'd be with... Oh. With just the, uh, you could interrupt with the scarabs, or you could interrupt with, uh... Well, my void dragon gets to... Oh, I used, I used paroxysm, used paroxysm on paroxysm. him. That was something you missed. Yeah. Okay. That was another thing. Um, well, I don't care about you hitting me, my void dragon. He's just going to heal it. Okay. And I'm not going to burn CP for my scarabs to fail to wound you. So, no. And then there's this guy. Against oh, the yeah. Stealer. Um... No. No? I think he'll live with okay. the healer, hopefully. So we'll go with the Gene Stealer. Three attacks. No upgrades or anything to him. He hits twice. Okay. T5, I'm assuming? Yes. Oh, okay, just one wound. Uh, no invone, though. One wound. Does he have an invone? No, no invone. He just has a three up save, so AP minus one. No, AP minus four. It was a oh. rend. So. So he just takes a wound. He's down to three wounds. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's him. He's going to heal it, though. Unfortunately. Yep. So now we're going to go with the uh, Swarm Lord just to deal with those scarabs. Okay. Six attacks. Um, yep. Okay. And toughness four? Three. Or three. So two's to kill. Do you have an invone save? No. They're dead. Oh. No, wait. You have four wounds apiece. Four wounds apiece. Uh, okay. So this kills one. Okay. And there was two mortal wounds in there, I hope. No, I don't know if they were for sure. So anyway, that kills the one. This kills one. That kills one. Okay, yeah, they're dead. Woo, that was close. Aren't there four? No, there's only three. Oh. I had smote the other one. Oh, dang. All right. Now Scared you... Nope. Uh, yes, technically over here gets the fight next. Uh, we'll have to take off those models. Four of them. I will remove... That's an objective there, so I'll remove these ones. Like that. And I do have a resurrection orb, so maybe I can get one back next turn. We'll see. Yes. Um, I get to go first. I get to hit you with both. You get to pick, guys, right? well, yes, but technically it's one goes, then my Ravener goes, oh. then one goes, then. Well, we're definitely gonna do the Lord, uh -huh. because he is the close combat Lord. So he has six attacks, because he gets plus two from the Relic. Twos. He only missed one. Nice. Average. And he's strength seven, so threes, and I get to reroll my wound rolls because of his warlord trait. Mm, one. Okay. So that is five at AP minus four. Five invones. We uh we dodged. Oh, good job. Uh what's damage? Damage two. Okay, so if I make any of these five ups, which I do, I have to make them again. So one dies. Wow. That's Dang, amazing. Gene Stealers. 
Uh, then, yeah, the Ravener will go. Five attacks. He uh, hits with, oh, Scything Talons. Nice. And we get one wound. One wound. Onto, onto the Void, Void Dragon. Dragon. AP zero. Yeah. Three up. Woo! Fails it. <laughs> uh, should I do mine? Uh, yeah, you get to go now with uh, somebody. He does have a wound, but he's going to heal it next turn. Yep. Uh, do you have any other assaults you're doing? Uh, I only have stuff that happens at the end of the fight phase. You get to fight back with everything. Okay. Um, we will do the Royal Warden with his elbow. His two attacks. Uh, is it two? Is that what I said? I yeah, three attacks. Three Watch attacks. It. Yeah. He's hitting on a three with his elbow. Oh, boy. Here we go. You can do it, buddy. Two. All right. He's strength five. Threes. Come on. Yeah. Five up to dodge it. No. He did it. I do not have synapse, so he just dies. He elbowed him to death. You can go with the Void Dragon now. Yes. Let's do the Void Dragon. Um, I guess I'll do my... It doesn't matter. I'll do my tail first. Two again. Two. Uh, strength six, AP minus one. Oh, you got a hit. That's the... Oh, you're right. Wound. That's the hit. Yep. No. Uh, strength what? Oh, it's a not tail. Eight. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Regular attacks. Twos. Missed one. And Just one twos. of these. Okay, he's gone. He's dead. He's gone. I get some more points for no prisoners. You will, and you will maintain that objective to be yours. We'll maintain. Maybe I shouldn't. Do, well, no, because you could have heroically intervened into him. Mm -hmm. Dead piles. Yep. Uh, um, now you get to fight back with the one right here. Let's guard. Let's guard. Here we go. He hits on threes. Ah, oh, dang it. It's cocked. All right. I'll hit. He is strength. Oh, he's wounding on threes, whatever strength he is. Only one AP minus. Five up. He's good. Now. These gene stealers are killing it. Unfortunately, I did not accomplish my goal. Of what? Of killing them all. Oh. So fairly. I am going to have to do what I didn't want to. I'm going to spend uh, three CP and fight again. Oh. Uh, Would you like me to roll hope. all of those dice? No. Again. Because he only took away four. Only took away four. He only took away four attacks. Oh, I can roll them shame. if you want, but uh, I'm gonna pile in and then uh, nuke them all. Yeah. Ooh, that's a shame. No, nope. he's a goner. Yes. They're gone. If I didn't have all the upgrades or anything, I would roll them. But with we saw what damage they did. Yeah. And it's only gonna be more attacks coming at each of them. See, that is the biggest shame about Necrons to me is that a lot of their Points cost is built into them surviving and healing, uh, but they don't. When that ha when that happens, yeah. There's so many ways that now, you can just wipe. Now, to them be off fair, I am I have put two. Now I'm gonna spend overrun, so that goes down to one command point. I have uh, put five command points into killing them over there. So but that was pretty significant. It is a lot. So let me. I'll go through. Uh, I'll move my overrun stuff, but we'll come back to the board uh, over here. Let's see what we got. So I will change this. Uh, this is not psychic ritual. This is uh, mental interrogation. I will get another three points for that. Oh, one more. And stranglehold. I will have three objectives. One, right? Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah. One, yep. two, three, and more than Connor. So that's another three points for stranglehold. Assassinate. I will get three points. Was he your warlord? Oh, yeah. That is four points then. And Connor's got a bunch of engage points, and technically he has uh, ten points here. Mm. Ten? Oh, yeah, right? I guess you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you have yeah. ten points there. Yeah. And we will go into Connor's battle round. He has ten points, or two objectives, so that is eight points. And he will have the bonus. So you're still sitting good, primary-wise. You're only behind, well, technically your head, but, uh, or, but you know, we score those later. Right. So now we'll come back to you in the rest of Connor's turn two. Turn three. Turn three. All right, you guys. So I moved. I don't have too much to move anymore, but we moved the 
destroyers, the plasma site, technomancer, towards these gene stealers, try to kill them. The mortals moved up to try to shoot the gunts in the middle. The technomancer, before he moved, brought back a heavy destroyer, which is mm -hmm. cool. And finally over here, or almost finally, Royal Warden's just standing on the objective. Wraiths and uh, Void Dragon are going to and go into one of those two units. And then we have some Scarabs in Craig's backfield to score engage points. And potentially tie up my Hive Guard. Yes, true. So that'll be good. Very true. All right, what's going next? So first off, we are going to, we're gonna shoot, no, Katan. Katan powers. Katan powers. He's going to do this on the Swarm Lord. It's impossible. Sky Falling Stars is not possible, not possible. on him. So it's on throws. But you can do it on, hey, that works. That does, that goes through. D3. D3. One. One. Six up to ignore. Yes. Nice. So you get to pick two other units, right? Yep. And then 24. So you got Hive Guard, Gaunts, Gaunts, Warriors. Hive Guard wounded at all? No. We'll do the. We'll do the Hormagants there in the middle and yep. the Termagants close to him. All right. Hormagants in the middle. Yes. D3. Two. Two. Uh, I am within synapse, so, okay. or six inches, so nope. So two of them will die. Okay. Goodbye. And this is the termagants. Yep, a four is good for one. One. I do get a six up. I wow. do make it. You've been making those. Been making them. Cool, cool. And mm, let's that's see. That's good for you to get, uh, get those two dead. Yes, that makes my immortals job much easier. Now we're going to shoot with, we'll probably, we'll shoot with those immortals. Hey, does he have another power? Thank you. Yes, he does. Uh, are your zone throws wounded at all? No. Swarmy's down to 11. I'll shoot Swarmy. On a two, hits. Hit. On a three, he wounds. Ooh. If you minus four. Oh, this is a shooting. Yeah. I thought that was a Katan power. Oh. They're, we'll, we'll, they're, they're the exact same profile. Well, we'll do this, this, this one first. Power, I yeah. saved it. Oh. Now we'll go back to the Katan power. Okay. Actually, we can. That was the Katan power. Well, you hit and wound. Doesn't the Katan power just do mortal wounds? Oh, yeah, you're right. So All there. right, so that was a shot. And the Katan power is a two up. Yep. There you go. And it's a D6, D6 damage. Two. Only two. Six ups. One, so he's down to 10. Okay. Now we did his shooting. We did his shooting. So now we got other shots. Royal Warden. Um, yeah, he's going to shoot, I guess I'll shoot the zone throws. Sure. Yeah. Cause he could kill one. He can kill one easily. Four Slightly shots. Slightly possible. Yep. Four shots. Hitting on threes. Mm-hmm. Only threes, huh? Threes. Nice. Three of them. You go through if you fail two of these. In bones. One. And the damage is damage. two, so sixes, so one is on a wound. All right. And yeah, now we'll do the immortals in the backfield. I believe, yep. Two shots each, two, four, six, eight, ten. Going in those two gaunts. Gotta kill the two gaunts. Actually, I don't even know, does that matter? Yeah, absolutely. It scoring. That stops me from getting max primary and stranglehold. True. All right, so threes. Oh, that's, yep. All right, you probably got him. Uh, then the six gives me two more hits. Ooh. So I got 11 hits out of 10. Desla. And threes. Oh, yeah, they're dead. You There's can, no AP, right? No AP, so you can try to save five, but. Yeah, no. Okie doke. Uh, I got six ups. True. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye, Gaunts. That yeah, that's big. Um, that is already it for shooting. Uh -uh. For shooting, we got these two Scorpex heavy. Or not oh, Scorpex, the most Locust. shooting, of course. Locust heavy destroyers right here. Well, then we'll just have to go into the Swarm Lord. Ouch. Yeah. I don't see anything that's better than that. The pod. 
Yeah. No, it hasn't done anything all game. Just a lot less scary than. Pod has not done anything all. Well, yeah. Not really. Two warriors. So we're gonna hit on threes into Swarmy. Good. Yay. Do I burn two CP to reroll the wounds? Only on threes. There's only two shots, but it might be. I mean, I'm gonna burn all my CP this turn, but what do I burn it on? I do have four pin bones. I know, that's why I'm thinking no. Oops. Probably not. I'm not no? gonna use it. No. Okay. You're gonna survive it. Wow. Oh, man. Good thing I didn't use it. Four of both of them. Four pin bones. Ooh. Uh, do I burn my last CP here? Because it's 3d3 damage. So average of six. Average of six, but you could bring him down to one wound. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do it. Gonna CP, CP. Well, I can still gain some. As long as you spend them, I can gain them. Oh, yeah. And we're gonna call upon... Oh, nice. Chezori. Chezori. Our first HQ member we were calling upon. Actually, I think he might have been the first HQ member to begin with. Thank you for being an HQ member. Thank you, thank you for your support. May my swarm lord live with your blessing. No. Uh -oh. So, 3d3. Chizori, my <laughs> swarm lord. Oh no. Uh, see it. Oh wait, should I, should I roll? 3d3. Oh yeah, I just one. Yeah, one you're two. good. Ah, uh, no. Not even good. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five. Five, five six ups to ignore. I do ignore one, so he's down four wounds, so he's down to six. He is bracketed. bracketed. Yay! Brackets. Brackets are good. Is that it for shooting. your shooting phase? Do you it know if you're going to do combat or you need some time to... I don't need time. All right. No. I am ready. Well, let me just pop his wound off there. Yeah, so let me... Actually, yeah, I got to look at a stratagem. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to charge with them. Now, they do have a strat that says I can use it in the fight phase, hey. so I can do that after I charge. Right? Yes, so it's in the fight phase after. One question, were you going to inject the little boy or save him? That was the other thing I was wondering. I do want to inject, because why not? It, Give, no matter what, he gets it off, but if I roll a 1, it kills a guy. No. All right, so, so they have off. plus 1 strength and plus 1 attack. Does he just disappear? He no, does not he go stays. away. Oh, okay. He's still there. He's still there. Yeah, he just sticks around and... Injects them Funny. with insanity. Uh, yes, but if he gets too far away from them, he dies. Oh, that's so, it. Thank you for saying that. Uh, yes. Yeah, now we're going to charge with them. So, it is a... Seven inch charge. Is that what it was? Seven? Seven natural, natural seven, so you need a six. Plus one. Yes, you need a six. Okay, that's what you're saying. Yep. <clears throat> and I do have the chronometron, so I get to reroll. All right. Hmm. Yep, they're in. Ten. This tool is nine. Nine. So, so you get 11, so yeah, you get a little bit more than that. Any other charges that are gonna happen? Oh yeah, over there. We got over here. Who are you thinking? Are so, you going for Swarmy? Are you going for the Zoes? Are you gonna go for both? That's the question. Um, oh, here we go. He's dead. He's gone, because he disappeared. He, he got too far he away. He got too far away. All right, my so, old buddy. So, you're basically right. That's how they die. <laughs> um, yeah. So, the thing is the raids. Oh, they're both going into the Zoes. Okay. Yeah. I will heroically intervene, probably, unless you can uh, avoid it, but... Right. But you only have to declare into the Zoe's. Yeah, that's right. It just doesn't really matter. So. Yep. Zonthropes. Or sorry, that was Wraiths I meant. Wraiths. And War Dragon. Easy. Easy money. They're all good. All right. So we'll let Connor pile those in, deal his attacks, and then we'll come back to you guys in the fight phase. Cool. All right. So I forgot that I also want to charge in my scarabs. All right. You got stuff that charged in over there. You yep. saw that. I heroically intervened. Yeah. And let's see. These are the scarabs. They needed ten. Nine. Nine. No. no. <laughs> Not worth a reroll. I'm plus one. Oh, you're about. plus one, so it's only an eight. Five to two. Oh wait, no. I'm down to five. Because I used one. Yep, we'll explain I, it here. Keep it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn Will it. Will I get a four. CP back? Yes. 
You what? got it back every single time. Nice. I'm just forward. Pretty much. All right. Let's see so this charge. See an eight inch charge. No. Oh, one short. Close. All right. Now explain what happened here. Yeah. So these dice, I'm about to roll them. They, the score packs start with three attacks each. Then I infused them with the little guy for four attacks each. Then I used a stratagem, the Novak one, I think it's called Blood Rites, mm -hmm. to get them to five attacks each. And then the four with the two bladed weapons also get an extra attack. So four of them get six attacks. The two with the bigger blades get five attacks each. What is the strength and damage on all of these? The ones that get more attacks, the two dual blades, yep. are strength, usually five but six now. Okay. AP minus three, two damage. Two damage, oh boy. Then the big blades are strength plus two, AP minus four, three damage. <sighs> wow. All right, yeah, you just roll them all. Roll we got all. the color coordination, so. So I do wound on twos. With, with the big the, ones. With the big blue dice. Yep. And yeah, hitting on threes, but I get to reroll ones. Because you're destroyer. a destroyer. That's a lot of ones. Oh there boy. A lot of ones. Wow, well, it's a good thing they have that rule. And then one, I take a big one in the middle. They only miss with one. No. Nope, there's one, two. A couple more twos, but that's pretty good. That's really good. And I get to reroll the ones, which is nice. Threes. Wow, that helped a lot. Oh boy. Okay, so the big blue dice, the lighter twos. blue dice are twos. These other ones are threes. I'm glad I did all that stuff to get more attacks. <laughs> And twos and threes. That's a fail. Fail. There we go. Two there oh counts. Boy. That there counts. Do you just want to roll these dice? Yeah, I'll just roll the dice. These are all wounds in here? Those are all wounds. Okay. The My dice are two damage. Yours are three. Three. Damage. So most likely feeling the pains aren't... I can't, I can't get them. I got them. Nice. <laughs> Oh, well. That's pretty good. Um, average. Th that was a save. We have camera proof. Got a couple. Okay, so we have. One more. Oh, one more, thank you. So, so far, uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, they are just dead. There's 15 of them left. Wow. Now, I have to take all of the blue ones. This is how we're going to do it. All the blue ones I'm going to roll for five ups, and if I roll a five up, then we'll roll it again. Because it's two Because it's two damage. Got it. So we make a couple of them here. Now I need to make one, two of these. Two. And they're alive. Nice. You will. Woo! So, okay, now we got to do it again over here. So for, you roll but they're three, three times. times. Ah, so okay. first round. One. Do it again. No. Okay. You got them. They, Slice and diced them. They got revenge. Very nice. I'm glad I used all those things to assure that many attacks. Yeah, otherwise they would have lived. They would have lived otherwise. They absolutely would have. Now I have no CP to interrupt, so you can proceed to move on to the next, uh, cool. next encounter. Yeah. So they all die. We'll deal with that later. Um, yeah. I think I'm just gonna hit your zone tropes with. Now, I get to go with both my charges before you go. Yep. So, I'll hit you with my wraiths. Okay. Into the zone throws. Into the zone throws. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So, ready? Ready. We oh. are hitting on four. Get these out of here. There we go. Huh. Pretty good. Wow. Pretty good. Very good. And wounding on threes. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, boy. Nice job. That's eight. When that went through, and they are damaged two. Eight. Yeah. Three ups. Let's go, my dudes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, I, are any of my zone throws wounded over there? I think one of them might be. He's on one wound. Okay, so I have to do his. So, three went through. So, the first one kills him. The next two I'll do all at once. These are six of Feel No Pains. Yeah. Wow. He's alive on one wound, so just one zone throwpe pops away there. You can continue on with the Void Dragon. Continuing with the Void Dragon. 
So basically, he dies. Gotcha. So basically, uh, now we'll do the tail. Oh, How many yep, hits? Smart. Four. That's the most Four he's hits. gotten. And he's hitting on twos. Oh boy. Lovely. He's string six AP. Uh, AP doesn't matter. So nice. Uh, three from the tail. What's the damage on these? Tails was one damage. Okay, I need to make this six. Need to make it. Let's go. No, so that'll kill him. So now there's just what one zone throw up left. One zone throw up left for the void dragon. All of these attacks. Finish. Twos. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. And twos. Mm-hmm. All five go through. You can do it, zone throw ups. If anyone can do it, you can do it. Oh. No. At the end, they. Well, what's the damage? D6. If you roll snake eyes. Well, five. Ten, no, ten, no, ten. I three. Oh. I saved some of them. Oh, three? Three. Three D6s. No, I'm not even going to bother. No. 14 wounds. <laughs> Onto his own throat. Okay. Oh, wait. There were two of them. Oops. Should we just take the camera for damage? Well, uh, it was a six, four, and a four. Yeah. So the way it'll happen oh, is... I think I'm good either way. We have... So the, the one dies from the tail. Yeah. Three of them go through. So what happens is uh, roll... Um, on a, on a, I gotta do this. We have to do this the right way just in case. So roll on a five plus the six damage one happened first. No. So a four damage one happened first. So I roll my six ups in case I somehow tank this. Mm. No, that kills him. Now the last zone throw had to take. Cause if I made two uh, of those, okay. then the next attack would have saved and right. But so it worked out. For it me. worked out. I'm not going to bother rolling 10 saves on one of them. It okay. is, uh, you got the zone throw ups there. So now... I get to fight. You get to fight, but you can't hit the Void Dragon. No. No, I only heroically intervened okay. into the, uh... Oh, cool. The, uh, dudes. All right. Uh, boy, this is not looking good for the Tyranids. Hey, I said the same thing about myself last turn. We'll see. Swarmy, I have, you know, some faith in you. Five attacks. Oh, you can kill the Wraith. Bam. Nail hit. There you go. Uh, T5, right? Yep. So threes to wound. Probably, oh, uh, it didn't matter. So probably should have spent a command point to real failed wound rolls. Would have got me one back, yeah. but. Four pin bones. Four pin bones. How many wounds do they have? Uh, three each. That kills them. Oh, there you go. Wow. Kill. Okay. So yeah, these are not what they used to be. Whew, yeah. Exactly. Losing that three up in bone is, uh, mm -hmm. so I'm afraid the uh, Zonthropes are going to lose theirs. I think they will, unfortunately. I think the same thing will happen. I got them. Boop. That's my guess. We'll see. We will, and then we can pile into each other. We can't fight each other, but we could pile into each other technically, or not. Uh, you get to go first because it's your turn. If you want to consult, pylon. yeah. Do it here. Let's show yeah, off the. That, yeah. Bam. Show off oh, the tool. The tool. Yeah, can you'll be you? if you want to. Yes. Uh, yeah, I do want to. That, right? Yep, you do. Because then I can't shoot you. Right. Okay. They're still in combat. So I can do, at most, six wounds to you next turn. Yes. Unless I fall back. True. Not great. Okay. Not great. So that is it for Necron's turn three. Let's go to the scoreboard. No prisoners, you have a lot of points for this. We I'm not we'll sure it what end. it is, but it's roughly, I'm just going to say seven. Sure. Might be more. Engage for you, you will get max points on engage. Cool. Because you are in every quadrant. Yep. So that's, oops, I did that wrong. One, two, three. To the last, uh, yeah, your two big other units are still alive. For now. And we already counted your primaries. So, so far, I mean, it's looking good for the Necrons. It's a close game, I think, right? It's a close game. We'll see what I can go through. We can check right now to what I will have at the start of my turn. I will have two objectives, which will give me eight points, because you also have two objectives so no one gets more yeah and i will get the primary one for having my home objective so i currently have a well it looks like an eight point advantage on the primary mm. but i think you have a slight advantage on the secondary because of two of the last but you will get mental interrogation again i might get one of these and you'll definitely get assassinate oh yeah 
You All easily right. have assassinated at least one. That's okay. We'll go into Tyrannus turn three, and we'll come back to you guys when we uh, get into the movement phase and areas there. Turn three for the Tyranids. we are got to claw our way back in. We did calculate the points, and we're actually pretty even right now. Yeah. Uh, Connor's got the advantage on secondaries for the time being, and I have the advantage on primary for the time being. Uh, he's really sitting at basically 10 points for no prisoners, and one, you know, a few more models, and he's going to be getting close to max out there. So we got to step it up. We got to do a lot with his characters this turn, so we'll see. It's a lot's riding on the Tyranid Warriors, I think, to, to get their damage done. Anyway, the movement is as follows. The Gaunts have moved up. I put, it's going to seem weird, but I put Unchecked Ferocity onto the Termagants. Main reason being, I got to take that objective. I got to kill that Royal Warden, and I need everything possible to, to deal with it. So even auto-wounding on sixes with the Gaunts might might be all I need. Sure. Uh, Swarm Leader rerolls went on to the Tyrant Warriors. I thought, uh, you know, they they could use it, get yeah. the full rerolls. We do have line of sight onto this character, which would be a great kill for them. I did put Bioweapon Bond onto the Hive Guard. The pod just did not do great last time, so we're going to put a Bioweapon Bond on the war onto the Hive Guard. This might be their last time shooting. Maybe. With the uh, Scarabs back there, so gonna get the most out of them for this turn and then the hormigons are really and the venanthropes are just they're standing still they got to hold these objectives kind of forgot the venanthropes were there they you just didn't have a very shooty army so the venanthropes didn't do a whole lot no that's uh that's the way it is so yeah. and then the swarm lord of, of course is locked in mortal combat as always he basically always is at always the end deals of games. with him so yeah. i'm only down to six wounds so maybe i can uh I can do something. One thing I, I, I contemplated is that I could spend your T6 or seven? Seven. See, that's where it, I could spend two CP to put myself into a different high fleet where I could get a free reroll to hit or wound and I could heal a wound. Mm. But it's two CP to do that. And or, that's all the CP you have. Yeah. And the thing about that is, is that you can only do three damage per phase. phase. So he will survive. He's going to survive. No it's more so I just need to survive him yes. this turn more than Which anything. It's possible. I don't, but I don't know if that one wound healed would have really helped. So no, probably not. I think you're making the right call. Yeah. So we're going to go into the psychic phase. Again, very important one. Uh, the Neurothrope is going to do what he's been doing and mental interrogate the, let's say the Catan this time. Three points. And he goes off. So that is another three points. It's a pretty nice second. It's pretty good, especially when you don't have psychers to deny it. Yeah, I should use that against your Admech, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And then he's going to go for Catalyst, and we're going to put this onto the Swarm Lord to give him the best chance of, of uh, living. I do. It doesn't matter. Even if I. Well, no, I don't want to reroll one because I could perils myself. So mm -hmm. goes off on a six, no problem. So Swarmy will have five up, feel no pain to help him going along. Hopefully that helps. And Swarmy will do his own powers. Uh, we're going to definitely do Onslaught here for Fight Last onto you. Or not Onslaught, um, Paroxysm. So that goes off. So he has to fight last instead of first this time. Mm. And then we're going to go with... Do I go for a Smite? I think I should go for a Smite. Probably. We'll go for a Smite. It does go off because I have not used Smite yet this turn. Yeah. And D3, can we get the big three? No, just two. So he's down to seven. Seven. Okay, well, something. That is it for the psychic phase. Shooting phase is going to be relatively quick, and I already know what I'm going to do, and yeah. people are going to be a little upset that I'm going to do it. Well, let's do it anyways. We're going to put... He's got four wounds, the Royal Warden. Yeah. We're going to put... Four wounds, T5, oh, no. save, save. I'll have to grab more. Okay. We're going to put two Hive Guard Ooh. into the Royal Warden. The old Craig switcheroo. And we're going to put one into this guy. Mm. The main thing is I need to charge that Royal Warden, but I don't want him on like enough wounds where he's going to be an issue mm. for my Termagants to deal with. Okay. So I'm hoping four shots. I was wondering what you were doing at the Hive Guard this turn. Four shots might be too much because I'm hitting on twos. Hitting on twos, wounding on threes. Yeah. 
You don't have an invuln save, so these are going to be straight five ups for you. I. Mmm. Mmm. We're going to do it anyway. Okay. Okay. Let's do it first. Please don't screw it up. All right, hive guard. They all hit. Three is the wound. Okay. Three wounds. You got five up saves. On the Royal Warden. On the Royal Warden. Three wounds, five ups. Perfect. Now, I want to see... Well, you can kill him. I know, yeah. but it's better than three of them going through. Yes! He's got one wound left. One wound left. Perfect. Perfect. Need to grab a dice. Yeah. Oh yeah, grab one of those. And then the other hive guard is going to go into the Technomancer. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Oh, perfect. Too bad I didn't have that uh, strat on him. True. And T4? On him. Four. Yep, so two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, Minus two. So six up. Yes. I don't think he has an invone. And you have to pay for that? What? Pay for an invone on him? Or is it? No, oh, that's the Chronomancer. Or the, right? That has the invone? The chrono, this guy gives invones gives to other invones. things. That's what it is. They don't come with invone right. saves. So you fill them both? Right? Yeah. So 2d3 damage. He's probably dead. Oh, he's alive. That's huh. okay. That's okay. We have the warriors to do it. Oh, well, yeah. What were you worried about? I don't know. I, my warriors could shoot the big scary guys in the oh, middle I then. Guess. That would have been nice. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of points after this, my friend. That's the hope. That is the hope. Uh, now we are going to go into the rest of the shooting. Warriors, two death spitter and venom cannon. The venom cannon cannot see him, so the two death spitters... Uh, actually, I think... Only one death spitter. Only one death spitter. Nah, two of them can see him. We can draw the the tape measure line of sight here. Without going out, yep. So both death spitters can see. Uh, we will put the venom cannon though down into score packs? the score packs. Cool. Uh, do you want to use your any strat on the score packs? You're shooting them with what? A venom cannon. Strength eight, AP minus two, D three damage. Strength eight, AP minus two. Um, I got four CP, sure. Okay. Rolling on slot. Yep. For minus one to wound. Okay. So that means I wound you on was threes, now fours. Yep. So we'll go with the death spitters first. Into the... Into the answer. one. We are hitting on threes, re-rolling because of swarm leader. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's gone, so. And wounding on threes. Nice. That is four wounds at minus one. Four wounds at a five up save. He's dead. He is gone. There he goes. Okay, and then the Venom Cannon gets D3 shots for three. Uh, two hits. Fours. Fours to wound because you used the strat. One wound. It mattered. It mattered. AP minus two. They have the five up end bone. I guess it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It's five up way. anyway. Nope. Can I kill one? Yes, I can. You get reanimate him. Oh yeah. Before you take him, just see if he reanimates. Oh, wow. Almost. Gotten very close many times. Very close. Okay, so one down. Uh, next shooting is going to be the pod. And that is all in range. Unfortunately, now you... I messed that up. Hmm. Now I don't get the minimum three on my pod. Oh yeah. I mean, mm. let's be honest, the pot, it was, it's minus one to wound anyways, the pot isn't going to do You know what? It is minus one to wound, isn't it? I'm going to shoot everything in the scarabs. It's probably smarter. We're going to go into scarabs. Still uh, no you know, minimum shots, but... Uh, I think you can do some serious five damage here. 5d6. Ew, one, two... Oops. One, two, three, four. So 10, 14 wounds. Okay. Or hits? Hits. That'd be fun. Just making sure. That'd be fun. Making sure it's not like a flamer. <laughs> Flaming Magical, Doom Balloon. Yeah. Uh, threes to wound. Oh, no, hit. Mm -hmm. uh, fours, fives to hit. Fives to hit. It's fives to hit? Yeah, it's only fours when I'm shooting a big enough squad. And last oh. time I had bioweapon bond on it. Oh, him. right, right. But now it's threes to wound. Huh. That is uh, four wounds at minus one. Four wounds at minus one, so no save. Oh, they only have a six up? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it kills one. Kills one. So you want the farthest away one? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. I'll set them here for now. There we go. Good job, Doom Balloon. Good job, Pod. And now we have the charge phase. Mm -hmm. The most important charge. Oh, wait. Swarm Lord's power. He can use it. I don't have to be like out of combat or anything. Go, Terma Gons. Auto charge. They will basically have an auto charge here. Okay. So uh, now, now is any other charging? I don't think this is a smart charge. You don't have any heroic intervention, right? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, so that's not a smart charge. Um, the pod is going to go for a, a heroic charge. Oh, nice. Into the scarabs to try and slow it down. Can he? It is an 11. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're gonna roll it, and if I make it, I think they might have a rule they cannot declare charges. Okay. I don't know if they got rid of that rule. Okay, didn't matter. It does not matter. They might actually have a rule that they can't declare them. They used to, hmm. but I know they got rid of some of that. Okay, so that's it. Oh, well, the Termagants, how far do they move? Not far. Well, it's a good thing I did that. Yeah. They will all get in because I have the pile in. Mm. Uh, but other than that, I guess we'll come back to you guys in the fight phase. The heroic oh. termagants go into combat, seven of them. Now I don't eight. net eight of them. Okay, perfect. It is eight. One extra attack. Yeah. I don't need the termagants to kill you this turn. Most importantly is that I trap you in there. So either I force you to spend the rest of your CP to fall back, and I could potentially use a CP to kill you on the fallback, or I mean if I do kill you now, that's fine. But keep you there so I can keep that objective safe from any shooting. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go. I do have unchecked ferocity. So six is auto wound. Otherwise it's fours and fives, eight attacks. Well, bam, we got two sixes. I think that he's probably a goner. Wow. Let's see. Two other hits. He has one. Fives and up. sixes, nothing. So that unchecked ferocity paid off. Oh yeah. No AP. Oh yeah, three is. Two three ups. I'll burn it. You're gonna burn it? Do you wanna use, we've got, we each have one channel member dice left. Do you, oh, or yeah. do you save it? Cause you've got other big rolls coming up. You got, cause isn't your- I feel uh, like I should save it for a different roll. A bigger roll. I'll do a regular one for this. Oh, but, oh, That's you good. did do it. He saved it. So you are down, you marked it there. Ooh, I did mark it, yep. I gained one already this turn, right? You did. Yes. You've gained one every turn. Yes. <laughs> so that was that fight, okay. Uh, because I did pro put Paroxysm onto the uh, Void Dragon, I do get to swing first. I am bracketed, but so I have five attacks. I will, I'm not gonna spend any CP to reroll filled wound rolls because as long as I do one, then you take the damage you're gonna take. Mm -hmm. So we'll go, oop, we'll go for it. Five attacks, hitting on twos. Oh, I thought those were all ones for a <laughs> second. Uh, and fours. Uh oh! Just one. Just the one. Two, Shoot! Four up maybe bone. I should have done it. Mmm. Okay. Whew. Okay. So he's down to uh, down from seven to four. That's okay. He doesn't bracket. Nope. But now he swings back, and this is where I'm. Uh, I'm a worried. Oh, you have catalyst. You're fine. Well, he does didn't do d6 damage. Yeah. Yeah, and I only have six wounds, so True. one of those is uh Let's do the tail. Oh the tail. Suspense. Three, Three. hits. And he is hitting on twos. Oops. Twos. And wounding on fives and sixes. Fives and sixes. Oh I have a tail too. Zero. You Nothing. Do your tail? Yeah, I'll do my tail. Actually it doesn't matter. You can't wound me anymore. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> no, that, 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 it's like your tail just phases through him. Just or phases right through him. All right, actual attacks. The real damage. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Do 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 do. Strategy. Two CP that takes away your invone. I thought that was only the Nightbringer. The Nightbringer has it built in. That's why everybody takes him. Oh no. The other Katan that are not as good as the Nightbringer use this in the fight phase. Katan shard. You cannot take in ones. Two CP. Well, that's shoot. pretty important. That burns your CP, but uh, yeah. 
I have zero CP. I didn't know the Voyager I could do that. That's terrifying. All Catan have access to that stratagem. Very nice. So hitting on twos. Yes. Oh no. That's all. Oh swarm. Uh, and this is threes. Oh yes. That is so three through. What's his AP? Four. Oh, so I don't even get a save, an armor save. Nope. All right, roll them D6s. Let me just real quick make sure it's four. He's right here. The Void Dragon is AP minus four. Oh man. These are D6, so I just need a total of, well, you get your- I have five up, feeling the pain. five up, feeling the pain. But still. <gasps> wow, he's alive. Five. Oh, you should use the channel die there. <sighs> here we go. He does tank two of them. So he is down three wounds, down two, three. Wow. Beautiful. That, it's did you use a reroll? You re used a reroll, right? Huh? On him, right. No, I used. No. Oh, and the, the immortal guy. The warden? Warden. Yeah, that counts, right? Yeah, it's in the fight phase. Wow, you'd think. Oh boy. I just needed to get six. Ish. Um, Average is 10 on 3d6. Well, that's yeah, the that's... struggle of d6 weapons. Yep. Fortunately. Okay. So that was okay for me. That uh, was. It was better than okay. You've, yeah. for, for the score wise, we got. Let's go chuck the. All right. So assassinate. I did kill another character. So that's one, two, three. Uh, you could hit me back with the immortals. Interrogation. Or the. Warden. Warden, giant, big immortal. And I'll get three here. So yeah, I'm sitting now, that was a great turn for the primary, or for the secondary for me. I'm up to, did I put enough assassinate points on there? Seven, yes, that's right, because I've killed the two characters. Uh, so seven there, I've got nine, and I've got nine. Oh boy, and Connor's primary? You are sitting on just Only one. one, wow. So you get again, you'll get four. Very rough. It's not as bad as it used to be though. Four and three. Not as bad as it used to be. The big thing is if you need to get eight, if not 12 points this next turn. Yeah. For the primary. And then Which before be we difficult. hop in, well, we'll hop into Connor's turn, but the last thing I need to do is I need to pile in my Termagons to prevent you from falling back there. Yep. So. We'll do that and then we'll come right back to Necron's turn four. four. All right, we did a little movement, shifted some stuff around. Pretty, pretty close mm -hmm. in terms of how everything is. Connor's got a couple key targets he's got to kill and if he can pull them off, then he's gonna be sitting in pretty good shape for the following turn. So starting off with Ooh. the, oh. One thing. Yes. He's at two wounds. Oh yes, and the Catan moves up. Catan is also at five, five wounds. Five wounds, good catch. Yeah, it's important. So then it's, uh, we're going Catan to the Catan powers. powers. We'll do uh, the sk falling. Sky of Falling Stars. Sky of Falling Stars. We'll start with the Termagants on the Royal Warden. Okay. One through five. Got it. D3 wounds, two. Two, I'm not within synapse range, so two of them will just die there. Two die. Uh, then we do the Hive Guard. Yep, D3, one wound on a hive guard. I am within synapse range on a six. Nope, remember I made the uh, the pot a synapse creature for the lulls of it. Right, but, uh, but it helps sometimes. Sometimes. The two gaunts are dead and then we have the venom throw. Venom throw. Do... No. Oh yeah, right, yeah. you're right. Uh, we'll do his other power yep. against the swarmy. Okay. So we got, yep. Yeah. D3. Three. Three. Three mortal wounds. Yep. Five ups. Uh, none of them. He's got one wound left. Wow. Once again, he survives. He doesn't have three. He just lost two. Didn't I get a three? I rolled a five for the Did I not? mortal wounds. So we checked. I did not make any of them. I don't know why I thought I did. So I'm gonna spend my last CP for animated by the hive mind to auto explode D3 mortal wounds just to get some more chip damage on him. Yeah, that's another phase of damage. <sighs> just one. So you brought him back down to four. Back down to four. I should have used the. Uh, I should use member dice on that. 
That would have been a good one. That mattered. Would okay, have been so a now one. I need. Ooh. Ooh, he wanted to come with. Oh. Not yet. You're not, not dead. Yet. Now, not that little guy. Man, I should have done it. Okay, so we each have one member die left to use. Yep. I know. It'll, I know it'll happen. You but... should save it for the last turn, probably at this point. Yeah, I mean this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we just did. That was all Catan powers. Yep. Now the that shooting. That was probably his best turn. Okay, shooting phase. We have. Where should I put the locusts? If I shoot the warriors, you could make my charge harder. This is true. Uh, I can't see the pod. Oh, I put them in a bad spot. I wanted to get them over there so they could try to contest the objective. With they, the guns? Yeah. I mean, they're going to have to kill some in close combat, but they're not terrible in close they combat. They could do it. I mean, they're they have, guns. You they could, have two attacks each also. They could do it. So they could do it. Um, that's tough, yeah. You could just nuke two of those warriors. Oh, here's an idea. Let's just see if we... I'm going to shoot the, the warriors, and maybe I will just fail to kill one, and it'll make my decision easier. What are you shooting the warriors with? The heavy destroyers. I thought that was your, what we were deciding. Yeah, I'm shooting them. Okay, you're yeah. going for it. Got it. Yeah, they're going for it. Uh, good. Two hits. And twos. Oh. There's the choice. Okay. Well, no, they reroll really failed wound rolls, right? Or is it hit rolls of hit one? rolls of one. Ah. Wound rolls, you have to pay two CP. Right. Extermination protocols. Okay, next shooting. Uh, yep, so completely whiffed. We've got... Uh, these boys? Yep. Calling they... them Hormagons. I don't know if they have range. 24? You got range. Woo! All right, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, two shots each. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And we go like this. Ooh, a couple sixes in there. So I missed one, but then we get two, four extra. Yep, so positive three there. Yep, and we go like this. Terrible roll. Well, strength five? Yep, only five. So we got five through. Five through, five six ups. Right, no AP? No, no AP. All right, so five die. Uh, unfortunately... One, two, three, five, oh my God, prime, four, five. We are still within synapse. We've measured this one is oh, yeah. within range of that guy. So no morale checks yet. Yep. And um, we did his shooting. He can shoot. Does he have, what's his range? Oh, is it only 12? I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's only 12 actually. Yeah, it's only 12. So nothing there. Well, you're behind the wall. I can't I'm, see yep. there. So then it's just in the charge phase? Well, wait, can I back up now? Oh, I, never mind. Different phase. Yep. Different phase. Uh, yeah, just into the charge phase. All right. Well, I will start with the important charge. Who's going? Scorpex into the warriors in the going middle. Going in the warriors. You need a five. I need a five because I have plus one. Uh, have... Then you need a four. Oh. Only we five. measured, I believe we measured a five inch charge. Oh yeah, you're right. Yep. So it's actually it's five will put you within an inch. Yeah. So you need a three inch charge. <sighs> Could still fail. There's one roll, one in thirty six. Yes. Did I fail? Nope. Okay. What'd you roll? Six. I rolled a six, so a seven for me. Seven. So that'll get these guys in. Uh, you had other charges? I do. The heavy locust into the gaunts. Bam, heavy, okay, yeah, go for it. There we go. They're in. They're in. Oh um, boy. We're certainly going to, oh wait, I should think about this. Think about what? I guess not, it doesn't matter, does it? I don't know what you're looking, thinking about. Well, like the best way to take the objective from you. Oh, you, really you gotta be within three inches of it, so. Well, I know, but. I have, I'm objective secured. I know. So you gotta kill him and that's it. Simple oh, but I do get it. plus one AP or whatever. There you go. Because <laughs> I'm Novak. Well, we'll get to that. Let's do this one first. And then down here? Oh, yes. Thank you. Would have forgot. It's um, like a seven. But you get plus one? Yeah. Got it. That's uh, in. These guys will end here. Okay. So things, are, uh, your, things are going well for you right now. So, I am going to... Burn my last CP for plus one attack on the Scorpex. And probably cut the camera and give me a second to grab my dice. All right, we'll be back with this murder. 
But the battle commence for the center. So we've got three guys with the extra attack blades, two guys with the big hitters, the insta killers. Mm hmm. And uh, we're just gonna roll them all right now. Yep. So uh, hopefully it's a good Ooh, I'm. Oh. You spent a command point, didn't you? Yep. Five plus to get this back. Will you get it every single turn of the game? I'm gonna use Rumi Rupa. I think that's how you say that. Rumi Per. Rumi Per. Rumi Para. Oh. Rumi Para 992. Rumi Para. Thanks, Connor. Yeah. I said that wrong last time. So, that's okay. the reason why this is important is if I get this, I get a command point back. And then, I will spend that command point. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't work in the fight phase. I was going to say to reduce damage by one on them. But that's only in the shooting For phase. Shooting? It's oh. in the shooting and charge phase. So, Rumi Para next time. Next time, Rumi Para. Give, give us a couple minutes. Just, uh, we'll be back. Hold on. I thought it Hold your horses. Well, I, yep. All right. So we're hitting on threes here. Rerolling ones. Here we go. I'm going to take out these twos. Boom. Boom. I hit with all the big hitters. All the big hitters. Besides that one. Okay. Okay. So the big blades are strength... Eight, seven. Seven. Because they don't have any pluses. And the other ones are six. The other ones are five. Five. So three's either way. Three's either way. This one fell out of your hand. I'm 99% okay. sure. Okay. And then uh, the AP is three and four. Okay. So just, they just chop right through. They chop right through. Oh, oh one of the big of ones missed. So we're looking for threes, right? So yep. A lot, a lot of, of the big ones missed, but Almost still. Half. Still right. a lot of damage. So we got... Four of the big ones. So the first one, sixes. No, so one. Okay. So that's two of them rolled. Three of them rolled. Four of them rolled. And that is three of them dead. Yep. So that'll be one, one, two, three. Yes, we'll kill the lash whip. Those are the big ones. Those are the big ones. Now the other ones are two damage a piece. Yep. So that's six of them. Yep. So I will do the first two of them. Six is to ignore. Nope, that kills one. And I got one left, so I'll just do it again. Nope, that kills them. Okay. Warriors have been absolutely obliterated. However, I do get to fight back with the Lash Whip Bone Sword guys. Because that's what Lash Whips do. Uh -huh. So we'll do them because it won't matter, but we'll do them right now. Well, it could matter a little bit. You never know. I mean, in terms of order of oh, combat, yeah. it won't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wow, one hit. Okay. <laughs> I did swarm leader rerolls, so oh. we'll get all those back. Actually, the two does hit because I have the prime nearby. Oh. Uh, okay, well. A little better. Well, okay, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, fives and sixes, we got a wound at minus two. A single wound. Three up. Or not three up, five up. Five up, and you'll probably heal it. But, uh, oh, yeah. Fine. Plop. Yep. Ouch, which means these guys have a gut check to take. At a five, they lost. And uh, you get to keep going with your score packs. Keep going. Or your, God, score packs. Your locusts. They're destroyers as well. They're destroyers. Uh, so let me just check. I believe they have two attacks each, which is nice in this situation. It is nice. Yes. Even regular destroyer, locust destroyers have two attacks each. All right. So two attacks each hitting on a three. One for each claw. One for each little claw. Wow. Wow. You guys have the most powerful guns in the army, but good job. And then <laughs> threes. Ah, okay. Two. Well, two go through. Sixes. Nope. No feel, no pain. So two of the gaunts die. That is awesome. And then my gaunts get to swing back before. This. Yeah, you just. I'll take them. My gaunts get to swing back before. Can they kill the royal warden? Probably not because uh, yeah. he healed wounds on him. He healed the wound. But uh, we're going to try. We had unchecked ferocity. It uh, didn't matter. You got a hit. No wound. All right, gaunts. Should I do the warden now? Just get it done. So we don't forget. That's all that's left. The scarabs. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Let's do the warriors. To... We messed up. I messed up. Oh. Uh, scarabs have fight first. Mine do? No, sorry. I, Venom Thropes have fight first. Oh, well, go, so, go with them. Um, did that matter? Would you want to have swung with these guys before the score packs? You probably technically should have. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I forgot that we'll, we'll still say you can go first. Okay. So you go first. Gotcha. I, 
They never get into combat. Yeah. So you don't, I, don't I totally forgot Venanthropes have that. Are there three Scarabs there? Three of them, yep. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know if I knew that they had that. They don't do much, but huh. that is one thing they do. Unmodified hit rolls of six is what we're looking for here, folks. This is probably the most important combat right Only now. One That's big. Bad, bad roll. Bad roll. Horrible. When they needed it most, the Scarabs failed. All right. So two wounds? Wow. Yep, only two. Uh, no saves. So three minus one. I thought you took the charging. Oh, they're just one in natural? Uh, Either way, I failed to save. Oh, no, never mind. You're right. You they're, had to choose between charge or AP. I thought scare swarms had AP minus one, but they're just AP oh, dash. Okay. All right, so now you can do your, your other warden. warden. Three attacks. Yep. Let's hit some gaunts with your elbow. WWE, no, okay. All right, and now I will swing back with the squiggly boys. I believe there are two stacks apiece. Uh, we hit on fours. We wound on twos because we are poison. That is four wounds, no AP. On the scarabs? On the scarabs. Uh, no AP, so sixes. No. We got one. All right. so it was a valiant effort, Scarabs, to try and steal the objective from me, but you were one wound shy of contesting me. Yep. And oh, uh, I got morale checks to take, which are not going to be fun. So here, uh, I lost five. Yeah. So I need a one. Okay. Boop. No. Uh, one dies. There are four left. On ones and twos, they flee. Another one will flee. All right, so they're still in the objective. But there's only three left, and over in the Gaunts, I lost four of them this phase, because there were set, there were eight of them. No, you killed one last I turn? I killed one last turn. So there were seven, I lost four, so on a one or two, they're yeah. okay. They also fail, so there's two left, ones and twos. All right, so one, two Gaunts are left in there. Uh, that is big, because that is uh, objective secured. So I do claim that objective to be mine. You still have strangle? Uh, I will str get strangle on my turn if One. if those guys don't die. How'd they die? Your fight phase. You'd strangle at the end of the turn. Oh. Yes. Oh, right. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go into my battle round four. This has been a, a grueling game. Mm -hmm. Connor's got nice position here on the... Oh, actually, do you want to pile into my yeah, prime? I do. Yeah, you got... Well, let's see. Let's check. You got three inches here. It's pretty close. You'll be within an inch. Yeah, so you it pile is. in so you can tag the prime in there. We'll take my swarm leader tokens out, but not the neurothrope. He is not within... No. Tag in range, make sure you get stay on that objective. There you go. Well, this yep, perfect. Yeah, that was big. Uh, I technically will get to fight you back with the prime, but it's not gonna really do. Maybe I kill the one. Good, he has two uh, wounds. He has well, not many attacks, huh? Well, bone sword's given an extra one. Nice. A pair of bone swords, I he should say. He more attacks than a hive parent? Sadly, yes. That's depressing. Uh, but we get two wounds at minus two. Okay. Uh, nice. Five ups. There you go. Okay, so he's out of wound. Down to one. On that Soon, game. guys, these will be damage two weapons. Yes, they will. They're already semi-confirmed yep. with the cult these codex. Cult. So, all right, so I, I narrowly escaped uh, disaster right there, but yeah. we'll tally it up and go to Tyranid's turn four. Yep. Okay, turn five, four. Four for the four. Tyranids. This is four for the Tyranids. Second last turn. There is... A lot hinging on me killing the Void Dragon. Pretty much, if I can kill him, it's going to be like a 90% chance I win this game unless Connor can get some great rolls at the end of it. Um, other command phase things to note, the, uh, the Prime has put Unchecked Ferocity and Swarm Leader rerolls onto the Venom Thropes to just guarantee, potentially, that I kill these... Uh, these scarabs, mm -hmm. because, I mean, if they take that home objective from me, I'm done. Yep. Uh, How about this? Over there, they're just hanging in. Uh, basically, I just want to tie you up, force you to kill me in combat. Yep. Uh, you'll probably kill those two, and if you do, that's going to deny me a lot of points. I hope. These gaunts are just 
tucking in around the corner to try and hide from any shooting possible angles while still maintaining distance on the objective. And then it's all about the hive guard, the pod and the neurothrope doing everything they can to drop the void dragon. So pretty much depends what you do with the psychic face. Yes, can I smite him? You can him. get those three wounds. Can I smite him? I yeah. also have to mentally interrogate him. So, yeah. We checked. I can use any power. Just wanted to make sure I didn't uh, cheat Connor in that little instance right there. But he could still use a normal. No. Yeah, we got this. Okay. So, first, the interrogation for the points. We need a four. We got it. All right. So, that's big. That'll put me up to 12 points there. Now for the smite. Smitey smite. Oh, almost a super smite. And you know what? Because this, the damage potential here matters so much. Ru, Rumi Pira, mm. I'm coming in. I need the big three. I don't need it, but I would love it. Rumi Pira, thank you for the support. Wow, yeah. Woo! Nice. Perfect. So we got him down to one wound. That is probably it for him. That is probably Actually, it. Is it. It, it is it. It's right. probably it. It is, yeah. Uh, we'll shoot with the hive guard because I have another psychic phase. So just three hive guard. Now I could totally whiff this, or you could make some great saves. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, good. And then hitting on or wounding on threes. Oh, nice. So that is four wounds on uh, minus twos. So for your four pin bones. Mm -hmm. No. He's so up. he is gone. That's um, big. He does explode. I don't think anyone's within six, though. Uh, within six, no. Okay. Okay, so that's him dead. We pretty much can then just go straight into the fight phase. Mm -hmm. And there are no chargers. However, I do have fight first on the uh, squigglies. Yep. So we'll go with them first. The six attacks, full rerolls, and six is auto wound. No auto wounds. But, uh, oh, there's one. One auto wound. And sixes, or two, sixes, twos. So that is five wounds. Squiggles are strength six? No, they have poison two oh, plus. Oh, right, right, right. Yep, so five wounds on two. Five wounds, AP? No. Six ups. Ugh. You know, I don't make quite as many six ups as you. So there that'll kill a base and bring one down to two wounds. Or All three right. wounds. All right, so then it's just fighting back. You can uh, kill those two gaunts there, because that matters most. Don't say that. Don't jinx me like that. <laughs> All right, they only get two attacks each for the destroyers. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Threes. Two, two wounds. wounds. Two sixes. Now, nah. I'm not within Sam's range. It's not worth a reroll. It's close, but not worth a reroll. All right. Goodbye, my term of guns. Okay. And I am totally okay just deleting the prime. Probably should. Because you've got like 40 wounds coming in at him. It was like the gene steal. 40 damage, I should say, probably coming in at him. Same thing as over here earlier in the battle. And then I guess you can hit back with the ripper, or the ripper, the scarab, and see if you can drop that one Let's wounded one. Let's do it. Give me two sixes here, and we have a very good chance. There's one six. Out of wound. Is that the only they you don't and hit? And that's it. That's yep. it. Five up. No, now it's in synapse, so that uh, kills him. Yeah. Am I within Somebody. twelve inches of the pod? I am, so I do not have to take a morale check there. That yes. would have been bad. So going into uh, the end of my turn, there. Let's check the scoreboard. So mental interrogation will go up to twelve. Stranglehold I will lose because Connor knocks me off of the uh, back corner objective. Mm -hmm. So no more Stranglehold and Assassinate I will get one, two, three, four. That's a lot of points. And to the last, Connor will lose five because I killed oh, the Void right. Dragon. That's got to seal the deal. That's going to probably be it. We'll count it up and we'll see if we need to play out it, but we'll see and we'll be back with whatever's next. All right. Here we are, Necron's turn five. It's looking a little grim for them, but Connor's gonna go out swinging for this last bit. Really what'll happen here, oh, we forgot to, so these guys are gonna kill them. The Royal Warden can provide support down here or into uh, the Neurothrope, because mm -hmm. he's an important kill. 
And then these guys are holding the objective. And these guys are going to, like I said, absolutely slice and dice right here. Yeah. So we're going to go uh, no katan powers. Command nope. face stuff has pretty much been said. This guy gets his wound back. Yeah. Uh, he'll get a wound up. Yep. But it's the shooting phase. We're going to start with the uh, two. Oop, the focus. Those two guys are going to try and delete the uh, zone narrowthrope. There think we go. I might use. You want to use it for the hit? My final one. You have two command points. Do you want to use any of those on the... I only have one command point. Oh, you only have one command point. I was down. so I You were down, okay. I do want to use, though, Dustin Bachman. Bachman? Buchanan? Buchanan. I think. I could be very wrong. Pretend I didn't say Bachman. Buchanan. It's been a long fight. All right, so... There it is. There it is. Uh, and it's going to just go in with one of my little one ones. One of the other ones. All right. To kill... Even if this one misses and the other one hits, it's going to be because of him, though. Oh, yeah. He, because, because of Dustin. He's providing the luck yeah, yeah, yeah. to try and negate All right. the damage here. So these are the two uh, heavy locusts into your... But before you do that, yeah. how much CP is it to reroll your failed wound rolls? Uh, two. Oh, never mind. It's very expensive think, for yeah. a unit that only gets three shots. Yes. It's kind of unfortunate. All right. So here we go with the threes. Oh, double sixes. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you, Dustin. That's, as far as I'm concerned, that's all we can ask for. That's all we ask for. We'll keep his die and going. And twos. Okay. Look at that beautiful roll he gave us. Three up in bones. Oh, Still. the three up in bones. He punched. He punched. He did, you did everything you could. He did everything he could. Brand. Craig just has good three up in bones. Thank you for supporting the channel, Dustin. Yeah, Hopefully you. next time your dice will be used. Uh, but it was used. I mean, she be, would be killed. Hopefully, it gets a punch. It gets a, it gets a punch. Yeah. The uh, the neurothrope said no thank you to that one. Yeah. So we've pretty much gone to the point where we know these guys are they're dead. We could take them off the board. These guys are dead. They would be taken off the board. And otherwise, everything else is as is. So we're gonna tally up the score, and then we're gonna be right back. A, a lot of points did hinge on right there him dying because he can do all the mental interrogations and. Potentially psychic powers. Probably so assassinate, yeah. We'll be back and we'll see where that stands with a little bit of a conclusion. Welcome to class, my huh. uh, my students. Now today we are going to learn about the Tyranids versus... No, so Tyranids ended up... We calculated out the points, saw what happened, didn't really need to play out the Tyranids turn. Tyranids 83, Necrons 76. Uh, Tyranids just got a lot of great uh, secondary points with assassinate, uh, that could be up higher potentially. That's yeah. the mental interrogation. Connor did do well in the secondaries. Problem was to the last, the uh, the was it, what's the big guy? Katan. The Night Katan Bringer. The Void Dragon. Night Bringer, Void Dragon. The Void Dragon. Him dying was the big swing of the game. Mm -hmm. It was eight points in four or three points for me and five points less for Connor. Yep. So that was the big swing. Plus, it was one of his main threats to contend with that corner of the board. It was. Otherwise, I mean, it was a really back-and-forth game. We both thought we were going to be losing every other turn. It was yeah. like, ah, I'm out of it. Now I'm out of it. Yeah. And it was a, it was a close game. True. Any, any little post-game stuff you want to mention about what you got, what you thought about this, the um, new style of primary and secondary? I like it. I definitely like this. The bonus part? I think it's better, right? I think it's better. I think it helps out Keeps the... It even the armies that kind of get stuck scoring only one a turn. Because I think I would have scored less this game with the normal. Normal one, you would have, right? you would have got five and five, 10 and 10, but all of those bonus ones you wouldn't have gotten. So you would have potentially five, missed out on 12. Five, 10 and 10. So these would have been fives. Yeah. These would have been or fives, tens. Yeah. This one might have been a 15. So maybe it balances out. Actually, it, it might actually come out to 35 instead of 36. It's well, either, either way, even if I had one less point, I think I like it. Just it feels good to me at least. I think I like it. And I know uh, GW said that these missions, it's not all the bonuses different in every mission. Right. So it could be, you know, killing something That's cool. could be the most. So it's a way to make it so if you're not quite a full objective player, you can get some points. Yeah. I don't think it's to the point where people, people are worried it's going to be like, oh, it's going to bring back all shooty kill or Killy armies. No. I don't think it's that powerful yet. We'll see how that goes in. I'm, I like it. Um, 
As Connor mentioned, this is pretty much the Necron force that Connor's working with right now. We have a lot of reinforcements coming in. We have stuff coming. We've got 10 more mortals, 20 more warriors. Three tomb blades. Three tomb blades, a plane, yeah. another lord, and two reanimators. Mm -hmm all coming in for reinforcements. And then after that, there will probably be some more wraiths to top it off. Yeah. So allow Connor to have a lot more options mm -hmm. going forward. My list, I liked it. The Doom Balloon a swarm list. was not, not worth it. That was the only <laughs> probably let down. Of the I mean, the, 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 the Ravners weren't great, uh, but that's the way Ravners are. Yeah. Is they're too expensive for what they do. It's a bummer they're cool looking so if i were to play this again obviously i would drop the doom balloon and i would stick in three more hive guard yeah the venomthropes didn't do much but that was also because of what army you were running because of my list too yeah it was a novak list so it was never gonna have a lot of shooting but they came in clutch at the very end there then yeah, holding really that did. objective was also then... part of that that sealed me you not killing yeah. that one uh one of those three yep was uh was saving game saving for me yeah definitely but it was a close game it was a close game surprisingly it felt good to run this kind of old style list again where yeah, it was a fun game tyranids so, and or warriors and gaunts and gene stealers and not any of the new big bug stuff yeah so no real complaints for me i took uh, too many characters but i knew that going into it uh this guy stayed alive stayed that's alive cool. he stayed alive and did his He's thing kept healing so that's cool yeah well you know what a good game. We'll come back probably next time. Next time you see Necrons, or I don't know what army you think you're gonna play next time. Necrons, Grey we'll Knights. Something out. We'll see. We'll probably be a fifteen hundred point one. Sam and I think want to try out a, a two thousand point. We got a competitive Sam, competitive list for Sam, so we might try that out next one. So who knows? Next time you see Connor, I'm always gonna be on just about every battle report. Yeah. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you to all of our members, especially our HQ members and our elite ones. Troop members, you guys are also much loved. Of course, we see you in the Discord all the time. We chat. If you guys want to consider supporting our channel, do click that little join button. It, uh, it does, mean, does mean a lot. It goes all back in the channel. Again, you saw the change to our lighting and our situation with the at least the intros, the army intros and the you know, intro to the video. You saw those. That was great. Just watch our first battle report and see how we did it and then watch this battle report. You'll see a big change. That's all because of you guys for watching and supporting. True. So thank you. Thank you guys. And we're happy to watch this channel grow. And we'll see you guys next time in another battle report or maybe a tactics video.